Okay. okay. Better wait a moment. <sighs> okay. Bacon has been acquired, by the way. Bacon has been acquired. Crispy and bacon. <laughs> Acquire bacon. <laughs> oh, that one. Oh, I remember that one. But yes, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the bacon stream. I'll be your host. Gregory, Gregory Five Skin. <laughs> Gregory Five Skin, his older brother. Anyway, uh, what the heck was I? Oh, right. You're doing this. <laughs> like, I was just lost for a moment. My gosh. Uh, hello, Aja. Okay. So, what the heck were we doing last time? You got to port. We got to the very, very funky port, I will say. And you all learned that... There's a giant embargo going on and a blockade letting no ships in or out, be it air or sea or whatever else. And they had orders to gun them down if anyone were to break them much. And right now you all stocked up on supplies, you got a couple of extra things. I will say, in between sessions, Yamba, you want to go? Um, I pretty much just went down to the other thing or back to the shop and just grabbed uh, three books and uh, a couple of writing supplies, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, he just came out to me as, like, just to save time, which is, you want to buy yeah. this? Okay, cool. That's well, pretty much all I did. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to assume you all basically just kind of, of legged it for the night and just put your legs up in the ship if you wanted to, or if you wanted to find a little place you could have, but... Either way, I'm just going to not count it towards anything. You all want to wake up in the morning? Yeah, should we roll for initiative on who wakes up first? Okay, yeah, sure. Everyone roll initiative real quick. We will see who wakes up first. <laughs> not who wakes up. Who wakes up first. I, don't, I, I say, you know what? Fuck the morning. <laughs> Whoever rolls in that one dies in their sleep. <laughs> I mean, I technically just did. Yeah. Yeah. Ball is, he never woke up. <laughs> Borlas is used to being up north a lot, and in the middle of summer, it's basically daytime for like 15 hours a day. So you just kind of go, oh, it's night, and just go to sleep while it's like still bright sunny. Yeah, it's uh, a stupid thing like you see in like Russia or like Alaska where the sun just never <laughs> fucking sets. <laughs> yeah. Is cake here? Ballers is left oh, shit. I don't think Cake came back. I don't think. Coffee. I thought he, he got that quick. <laughs> Whoops. Oh no. Both the lizards died in their sleep. It's now it's it's now biped real biped hours. Who the fuck up? <laughs> okay, we'll wait for him to get back. I thought he was like just being quiet and just wait. Are you here? No, I'm never here. <laughs> Borla's got a hangover. That's heresy. He has to drink at least five kegs to get that. Yeah, five. Are you think I'm a child? <laughs> You're a growing boy. I yeah. do still find it funny that in this world, the the things that live in the ice climate are um, there are lizards there, <laughs> no, known <laughs> known for their cold blood lizards. <laughs> you don't it's know called, what kind of blood he has. It's called alcohol. <laughs> I choke on the holes. Yeah, but al there you alcohol are. actually makes you more susceptible to frostbite. It does. Is, because you feel like you're warm. Well, one, do you feel like you're warmer when you're not? And two, it actually draws blood away from your extremities, making uh, making your core a bit warmer. Uh, so what you're saying is, all... so you're saying is, more than size to go out standing in the snow, just drinking beer constantly. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is, a lizard, especially a lizard who's drinking, is probably the least suitable creature to be in the <laughs> snow. It's, it's fine. But yet here we are. Built the fucking uh, built the fucking sun replica machine that Doc Ock built in uh, Spider-Man Two. <laughs> Look, portable heat lamp. Borlas <laughs> lives in a magical Gila monster hag's cottage that's bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. Your argument is invalid. Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> yep, that's how it works. You and the, and the like, other simple get, reason, it's Adidas. They, they get they get given giant crickets from a giant pair of tweezers that comes from the sky. <laughs> the wish. The tweezer god, the best one ever up there. Like you can just get like a giant meatloaf made of bug. Bug loaf. Anyway, uh, Gix, we're just rolling for initiative to see what order you all wake up in. 
I just think uh, it's a, a time in Alaska where the sun never sets. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, Mr. Hands, you're all, you're easily the first one to come up. Everyone's just kind of dead asleep right now. It's around 7 a.m. ish. Wait a moment. Uh, I don't sleep. Oh, yeah, he doesn't. Uh, Wait, you don't? <laughs> oh, right. No. Not anymore. You're the one that gave him the magic item. <laughs> I gave him the magic item, technically, but whatever. So, yeah. No, but yeah, well, Yan creates it. I did create it. I will... Yeah. I actually should roll for Bolts because he's with you all now, so let me just... Does Bolt even sleep? I will say no, but he could just be, like, shutting down <laughs> for a little, mm. little bit. Is it still like a or do they have, like, a century's rest? Yeah. Yeah. I can imagine, so... Okay, they can do yeah, that in the six. middle of, like, the sleep and then stare at you for an extra, like, four hours afterwards. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, just keeps the eyes open. Just stares at the entire time while you sleep like a cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, what will Mr. Hands do? Uh, Mr. Hands is just gonna lean up against, or he's gonna go outside first, you know, get dressed, come out of his room, take a few steps, uh, and he's just gonna put both of his arms on one of the railings of the ship, lean back, and pack himself a big bowl of tobacco and start to smoke on that. Wait for the others to uh, to come out. Alright. Next up is our dearest captain, who's hopefully enjoying his nice, big, comfy bed. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna step out of bed, you know, look out of the window for a bit, take a, you know, deep breath... Go check, uh, go up onto the board, and um, I'm wearing a very, you know, big billowy dressing gown with like long flowing sleeves. Um, I'm gonna check that the big ass lock that I put on the on the steering wheel is still on there, and there isn't any signs <laughs> of uh, tampering oh, with the lock, like any stray way. any stray vodka bottles that are just kind of laying around by the wheel where someone may have come and tampered with it. Because Borlas was indeed up last night. Is there anything tampered with or moved around? No, not even at all. Okay, good. Nothing, nothing has been changed in the slightest. Abby, Abby, Abby nods and smiles, and he is going to climb up on the mast, for, it, it kind of up and towards the crow's nest, and he's going to take a look around and see if he can see anything going on in the town at the moment. I will say the crow's nest is basically sort of like the shell where you have the balloon go, like in case someone comes by and just snaps the ropes, the sh the balloon yeah. won't actually go anywhere, so it's just on top of the balloon. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just sitting up there. I want to see if I could see anything that's going on. You do see like a lot of ships around in the horizon, just potentially the blockade, but you do see a couple of like trawlers and other small fishing ships just going through and just getting the start of the day for the first catches and everything. People bustling yep. about the usual sort of port town stuff, just making sure everything works well. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to kind of chill up there for a bit. Yeah, that's, that's about me done. Okay. Cake? Gix? Ah, yes. Gix, Gix is... has been, of course, uh, Attempting to uh, figure out what exactly to write in the uh, Holy Script of Bananicus, For aside from, sleep. you know... <laughs> I mean, uh, you He don't... took a few... Hmm? I was going to say, you have the ammo, so... You can sleep if yeah. you want, you just don't need to. Ah, uh, Probably took like a four-hour nap. Yeah. And then continued writing afterwards. Uh, let's see what you do for religion, basically, to just write down what you think would be good. Ah, religion is the... Oh no. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Keeping so... up the good religion rolls. Mm, yes. You kind of... According to the book of Bananicus, whenever you see a child, you should aim to separate its eyes from its face and send them to your nearest seagull as a snack. Okay, I'm not going to roll for anything bad. Like, I'm not going to do the danger. Taking a drink while you said that, and I left. And now it's how much of, was told up. How much of a cult are we talking about now? <laughs> so I'm going to say this, just as for fun, because you managed to just stay up for most of the night. You managed to write the whole book. The only difference is it looks like a comic book. 
<laughs> like you always thought, wow, everyone really has all these cool, holy scriptures. But when you looked into some of the books that the colonists had on the islands, you just looked at them. It's like, there's no pictures here or anything. And they always describe these beautiful places. So you like make all these like very, very crude doodles, like jungles and everything in there. Like Bananacus like the looks Bible like... Manga edition. <laughs> yes. Bananacus looks like a giant banana Jesus just wearing a robe. <laughs> No, no, no! It's, it's the fucking original One Piece comic. Basically. Yes, <laughs> like, it's like the Oingo Boingo manga from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But yeah, you basically write the Bible of manga of Bananicus, and it's just you're just staring at it, and just Bolts looks over. That looks weird. It looks glorious. <laughs> Bible to Tokyo Drift. Let's go. And it's like at the end of the book, you already have to be continued, and you're just writing down some little notes. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> maybe multiple bananas. <laughs> or like a Super Sentai thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, Bananicus. And the, just. Bananicus one. The Bananga. <laughs> the Bananga. <laughs> There we go. Done. Done. It's Good. the Bananga. <laughs> wrap it up, wrap it up, gentlemen. We're done here. <laughs> All right, that's the session. Everyone, go home. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, is there anything else you'd want to do? One potassium man. Oh one yeah, peel, like one peel man. I will say, as you're writing, uh, if you don't have a candle or anything, or like a lantern, Bananicus can just give you like a big light by just glowing orange. Oh. <sighs> okay. One anyway. is never in the dark when Bananicus is close. About half an hour later of Borlas potentially hearing everyone above deck, you finally get up from your stupor. It doesn't feel extremely good, but you at least are better than sleeping on the floor. Hey, uh, bore this after uh, getting all his damn supplies from uh, that that one uh, shop. He's gonna leave it all in his room either way, and he's going to come out and greet the world by pretty much just walking on out. <laughs> I'm sorry. Not out. He's walking on out. He's just strutting the stuff and finds I don't know, Mister Hands. <laughs> I think everyone's out on the deck. Uh, oh, except Gix. yeah, Gix is still inside, but Appy's in the crow nest and Mister Hands is out on the deck. Mr. Lance, how are you doing this morning? Oh, you know. <laughs> could be better, could be worse. Got a True. weird a weird hankering for for a certain taste. I can't put my finger on it right now, but you know, if we take a trip to the market, maybe it'll come to me. Ooh. Anything in particular you're thinking of? Maybe something salty, something savory? Mmm. Something sweet, like uh honey almost. Hmm. Maybe I can think of something later for that if we could find some good shit. Well, we can just check the markets. That is very true. Do you know where uh, the captain or the uh, or not captain? I guess some distant LB or the uh, fucking geeks. Where they they are? Sorry, they have a bad, uh, bad hangover. <laughs> <laughs> Long night last night. Hmm. A bit. Just been running around all over the place. Just kind of just wore me down. I bet, I bet. Uh, I think I saw Abby climb up somewhere, and I haven't seen Geeks this morning either, so your bet is as good as mine. Yeah, I think I heard a lot of scribbling last night. <laughs> Sounds like she's trying to color something in on a piece of paper. <laughs> Maybe he's Somebody writing a play. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Superstar. I'm just imagining, like, Shakespearean tale of Bananicus, like the epic of the banana. <laughs> He's just writing something that sounds uh, sounds so unique, but then he looks back up afterwards as the <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully, well hopefully the mug is pleased to have something good. Cause I know we need to get the kitchen sooner or later, because pretty sure you guys don't want the rations twenty four seven on this ship. Mr. Hans is gonna chuckle a bit and said, <laughs> Listen, boys. We ain't on a cruise just yet, so I'll take what I can. Rations or five-star meal. I think we just gotta take it one day at a time here. True, true. Well, speaking of which, makes you just wonder if we're going to be staying here for a day or two, or if we're going to be shoving off to 
something, because it seems like we have some options to go about. Oh, we should probably talk with the captain then, shouldn't we? Hold on, I got the idea. As uh, Boyless is going to uh, yell a bit loud, I'm going to touch the steering wheel. Don't touch Abby. Oh! Oh! oh. The steering wheel. And, and, and he just basically just sits there and just <laughs> wait for his reaction. <laughs> Are you there? Yep. Oh, wait, did he? Did we lose Abby? I think we did. No, I was just I was just rolling a perception to see if okay. I heard. Yeah, I'm going to say that you <laughs> immediately you just kind of look. Uh, the wind just blowing in your face, just like a very nice morning by the sea. Then you just hear the utterance, "I'm going to touch the steering wheel." <laughs> um, I am going to my 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 long pointed ear pricks at the sound of uh, a, a Russian accent saying he's going to touch the wall. I'm going to grab the boat and I'm going to swing up off the side and come round to DON'T TOUCH IT YOU BASTARD! <laughs> okay, there wait, are you climbing down? No, I'm swinging round on a rope. Okay, roll acrobatics, I want to see how this goes. <laughs> oh. Okay, oh, yeah, oh. You, you easily just like whip yourself around the boat and you just make a very smooth landing. No, I, I was going for the drop kick, but he's not there. So. <laughs> <laughs> See, there he is. Who said something uh. about you? I, I, I like check the lock on the wheel. He's not even like near that that part of the ship at all. He just <laughs> hanging up with your hands. <laughs> you get what? a pass this time. We were wondering what you were. I had to say something. Ugh. <sighs> You make me despair sometimes, ballers. Yeah, I, I, you could have just said, Hel Hello, Abby, would you mind coming down here for a moment, or...? I think it'd be more fun that way, a little bit. But either way, I dig this. So, what is our plan of action? It seems we have a couple of things we can do. Well, I know one thing for sure. If we want to, uh... Want to get anywhere far? We either have to go talk to the fellows that wrote the bullets and wait out three weeks. Either way, we're gonna need a little bit more money than what we have. I think you mean Gix. Oh, Gix, yeah, yeah, yeah Gix. Yeah, Gix has the, had a letter. Uh, mm -hmm. Abby had one technically set in here that also. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Have the the option of the fucking uh, shipyard if you want to go upgrade the ship. I guess. <laughs> you would have to go looking for that. I will say. Because you only know the general area of it. Like, all you know is it's right around here, but you don't know exactly where. Um, I'm not going to look at upgrading the ship at the moment. I don't think I have the money for it, and as of right now, this serves, um, serves the means it has. He did say the first one is free. That's what I was about to say, yeah. <laughs> Uh, true, true, true. I might go and have a chat, look, talk to him later. As of right now, I'm not desperate to upgrade right now. Okay. True. I was just saying what the options are at hand right now. <laughs> yeah. I'll and there's also the I'll have a look. there's it's also the merchant right thing if you want, or you could try to find something else. Yeah, I'm I'm more than happy to leave that for a while because we have got some things that are a bit more t kind of time sensitive with Ballers' letter and the market coming into town. Gex's. I, I wanna, no, I'll Gex. have a sorry, sorry, Gex, uh, sorry. Gex's is, Gex is lizard that. racism. We're lizard racists. We you, you one is small and yellow. The other one is your height and green. Yeah, but you both have scales, so you look the same. Um, I mean, you both do have fur tufted coats too. True. Um, which, if anything, that is true. That's concerning that you've decided to take a creature that doesn't have scales, skin it, and wear it, but you know, that's neither here nor there. I like to imagine that Borlas's jacket is just made from, like, some sort of, like, a big wyvern or whatever. Like, it's not uh, the usual polyester, it's just big, very, very concerning <laughs> creature. Well, you want to more dark? It's just baby seal fur. Oh, no! Um, oh, but we'll, oh. now go, we'll now go with that. We'll say but yeah, no, I think we've got, we've got Gix's letter, we've got the merchants coming in. Um, we're not going to be setting off anytime soon either, so I'm happy to wait for a bit. Um, see what kind of position we're in when we're looking to potentially leave and kind of make my judgment call off of the, um, around then. The merchants I mean, are... Going south because of uh, Kasanegi to begin with, so I'd say... Uh... Should probably let the the bigger of the two lizards decide. 
The merchants are in the capital, like that general vicinity. So you'd have to go back up anyway, if you want oh, to go to them. Oh, right, we'd have to go back up. No, well, either, no, no, no. either way, either way, we've got time, but we can't set sail regardless for a while, so I want to see what position we're in before we're going to be going, before I make a decision there. Where, uh, do we know where the uh, gentleman who wrote to Gix lives? Is he uh, nearby? I uh, prefer not to head up north back to the capital. Um, Gix, roll a... What would be good? Just general oh, intelligence check. General intelligence check. It is... Uh, yeah, the gear's turning on this one. 17. Uh, 17. So, <clears throat> you remember the ferry company's name? Let me just get it back up because I closed that document like an idiot. <laughs> yeah, and you fool. I've been you bamboozled. Fool. You, yeah, fool. you fucking idiot. I am. <laughs> oh, where is it? Where is it? You have doomed us all. See, he's right over there, Yang. You, you see her over there? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the ferry company that Gix was on was the Grey Gallows Ferry. It's basically from. Iriak to Gurini to some big islands in Saral to be able to go from Kaliak because some undead and very questionable other creatures that are from Underdark like to be around there. And you recall some of them having a port that would go up some of the rivers, so you can assume that you could just go to where one of the rivers goes upland and you can just shove off there if you want to look around the port lands, so... Portland's town, that's it. Is the ferry company managed by fairies? No, it's F E R R Y. Oh. Fairy, fairy fairies. Oh no, fairy fairies. You distinctly remember the two people giving you the ride were human and half elf. Mm -hmm. Were they furries? <laughs> <laughs> the furry fairies. Oh no. What about furry fairies? No. Fairies made out of fur, or fairies that No, have... they're wearing tiny, tiny dog costumes. <laughs> you just see freaking, oh. like, beanie babies coming up at you. Oh god. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> the attack of the killer Sorry. beanie babies, they're like the killer rabbit from Monty Python, the rabbit of Chernobog, or whatever. Or attack of the killer tomatoes. <laughs> so anyway, I assume... You all are going to go with your plan to see the ferry company, right? Mm. Yeah. I was better than going back. It right. sounds better going back up north, it seems. <clears throat> it seems like some of you don't want to do that at all. Anything's okay. better than going back up north, Boles. Anything. <laughs> you seem to be quite desperate to avoid going up there, Mr. Hans. Is there something you're not telling us? Uh, well, let's just say I've... Uh... I've made a few friends, and I've made a few enemies, and a lot of them are currently in the capital right now, and may come looking for me. So, the longer and I so stay the away from the <laughs> Yes, the enemies. You, you <laughs> Bananicus has enemies too, right? Doesn't he have <laughs> orange <laughs> Satan? Yeah, no, it's the melody. No, he more. tends to just burden his enemies. <gasps> no. Alright, let's not be orange. I'll be honest with you. We've been traveling, so, you know, I, I don't want to keep you in, in suspense here. Back in the capital, I was part of a, an organization, if you will. And me and this organization robbed people, rich people, to be exact. Uh, and now the police of the capital uh, don't like organizations like us. So I'm running from being arrested, in more or less terms. I was able to get a free pass out of the capital, but now I'm, uh, I'm on my own. Oh, Mr. Hans, you are so much more fun than I thought you were. See, I won't <laughs> lie, from the hat, I thought you might be something of a lawful man. Oh, no. Um, oh, this is so much better. I, I, I love this. This is excellent. So, fair disclosure, if I get caught, you lot will probably be uh, arrested too, but, you know. We're Mr. friends, Hans, right? I'm, I'm honored by the fact that you think if I got caught by the police, I would be arrested because something of you've done. I'm <laughs> really glad you think that highly of me. I'll plead ignorance. <laughs> no, one knew that. no one knew anything about this. 
<laughs> Wait, your name is with you have a I was asleep. I mean what? <laughs> Wait, you're a monkey? Wait, you're a monkey? You have hands or feet? <laughs> Yeah. Wait, did you pull, uh, Did you just say that you, you would say you are asleep? You're currently wearing yes. an amulet that stops you sleeping. I don't think that's going to be the best defense for you. But minor detail. <laughs> I still can sleep, I just don't need to, I mean... Right, I feel like... I, 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 I won't lie to you, my friend. I feel like just because you've lost the ability to need to sleep, I feel like you probably should still sleep. I feel like that's going to do irreparable damage to your psyche if you don't. What are you talking about? I'm perfectly normal. <laughs> As he just yeah. hides the banana from you. Yeah, yeah. Six, what, what, what's banana. that in your hand? What's that in your hand? Is that your screen? I just like that that Gix is just writing fan fiction, basically. Gix, by the way, uh, that why book was 150 banana... pages. Gix, why does the banana have a six pack? <laughs> Why does the banana have a smaller banana between his legs? <laughs> Why does the banana have legs? I was. <laughs> I is, love this. this. Is the heat of the moment, okay? Did you get both seven. like 17 six packs? <laughs> Multiple levels of concerning. <laughs> it's like, more honestly, accurate I... to the spirit of Bananicus. Right, I see. Um. All in favor of taking that amulet away from the <laughs> oh, no, no, it's mine. No, no, no. I'd have it. We, we will give it back to you once you have a full night's sleep tonight. Gix, uh, you do need a night's rest. Gix, have you have you seen have you seen the documentary Lord of the Rings? <laughs> <laughs> About that, about there was that one halfling that went Perhaps, fucking yes, bananas. You can't have it. Yeah, there, there. That's that's exactly what okay. I was talking about. Okay, I'm it's going like... to say this: roll for bullshit with the performance. I want to see if <laughs> like Lord of the Rings is canon here. Reenact it for us. Reenact it for us. Wait, which one? Sorry. Performance. I want you to uh, try to will Lord what of the Rings this, into existence. What is Lord of the Rings? Show us how it's done. <laughs> yeah. What is this? Can you reenact it for us? The Ring of the Lord or something. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, you kind of, with your travels, well, you've kind of heard of uh, Nerfal. Like, you've heard of more, most of the eastern side with Brogololans being the sort of pirate haven. But you always kind of heard that Roval Hill beneath it was kind of more or less full of just halflings and almost nothing else. So you're just kind of spinning a tale of like, like some crazy story about a whole bunch of halflings getting a wizard from the central part of Nerfal to go with them on a magical journey with birds and everything else and orcs. <laughs> and oh, yeah, Abby's just there. I'll be just there like and then there was this crazy bit where the out where a river turned into some <laughs> horses and it took down a load of what? buildings and there were these old men that were trees and the two halflings there was a lot of homoerotic undertones there <laughs> but like you're not really sure whether they because you know it was written like you know a good while ago, and it wasn't really the thing at the time, but, like, they, they, they quite literally say bad, shared a load at one point. I mean, that's quite on the <laughs> nose, if you ask me. But regardless, you look, you're, you're like the skinny, creepy one. That's what I'm saying. Question. Why didn't they use the birds? <laughs> oh, you, you, people always say, why didn't they use the birds? Like, they would have just been shot out of the fucking sky. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I, I kind of stopped I'm paying confused. attention. Anyway, what six hours passed. Do birds and halflings have right, to do right. with me needing sleep? Or right, me not so needing sleep? Why, what happened after left Shah? So there was this weird part with this strange man that lived outside the forest. I think he was a, he was a druid of some sort. His name is Tom Bombadil. And they just kind of hang out with him a bit and then forget about him for the rest of the story, which is quite bizarre. Um, the point is, Gix... One of them got this magic item and stopped sleeping because they had the magic item and went fucking crazy and started, you know, running around in their underwear and trying to bite people's fingers off. So the <laughs> I'm going to just say this before is him being his underwear. I'm, yes, I'm going to say Abby just realized. Eating, wait a moment, Gix eat people before. <laughs> I bit people's fingers off before I got this thing, it's fine. <laughs> and, and, and Abby looks, looks up and down and goes, holy fuck, the guy talked to himself as well, what the, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's, too, it's too late, it's already no, too, 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 too,
fish. I what's your opinion this. on what's your opinion on fish? Uh they taste good. Oh fuck. <laughs> what? Um, do you like like none, fish? Of us are, none of us are motorfolks or sea I guess. Oh, this is um look, bottom line is Gix, please go to sleep tonight. <laughs> I did sleep a bit last night for a few hours. Really? Because I think pretty sure Ball is here said he heard you scribbling all night. And if that's what you produced, all night. <laughs> I heard I slept for like hours three hours. That, so. <laughs> can I can, I, can I roll an insight to see if Gix actually <laughs> went to sleep at any point? Roll insight if you want. I heard about three hours before I passed out. <laughs> What would that even be? Because Gix did get four hours of sleep. Yep. Right, I'm just going to say the recommended Match fucking twenty. Yeah, Borla is <laughs> recommended. Borla's knows that he did probably get at least a little bit of sleep because you wouldn't have heard uh, bolts going around like crazy because you would know if he was awake because you would have heard the metal just clanking on the ship. Meanwhile, Abby, it's like, you kind of get, like, this guy is slowly descending into madness if you made an entire full book, a chronicle of his cult. Look, all I am saying, Gix, is, as of right now, the recommended number of hours of sleep is, well, being frank, eight. Four is half of that. Well... Right now, thanks to this, I don't need sleep. I need answers written down into no, the no, banana. No, I need the, um... it, it, it's not just about the. You, you have to get your brain to turn off a bit. My brain never turns off. It goes too fast for that. <laughs> <laughs> Just posting stuff in text chat. I don't need sleep, I need answers. Regardless, I'm in my fucking dressing gown right now. I think we should probably, you know, look at potentially getting changed before we, you know, go out and do anything, really. Is anyone else in pajamas or sleepwear or in the buck? Uh, <laughs> wait, I, I, made, I made sure to change before I came out on the Okay. I don't know if any are changing clothes. He has his only tracksuit for now. You basically press the digitation at clean, right? Pretty much. Oh my gosh, Borlas. I, 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 I keep it fancy. The real question is, Gex, what's with you? Uh, Gex, he is absolutely stinky. He's been oh, up no. at least half of all night. Does just he know where the Writing is. the banana. Like, it smells he of has just not sweat. Changed his Somehow. clothes in who knows how many days before that. Like, there's a slight stink just wafting off from him. You can probably see the lines if you look close enough. He is giving off the uh, telltale druid smell. Yep. It's just, it's just his, his very, very protective musk. Musk. Mm, musk. Musk. <laughs> So anyways, uh, so we should go to uh, the port, it seems, or the, not the other port at end of the city, for the gigs that there, I assume. It's basically just going up a lot. How far away is it? Is it just like an hour or so? I'm going to say like a half hour walk, probably. Oh, so we're not oh, okay. going to take the ship then? Okay. Yeah, Abby specifically yeah, okay. said since it's probably closed, you could just walk. Maybe walk through, or uh... Move because you're not setting sail anytime soon. It's true. Yeah, we could just walk in through the town. True. We can get some, uh, fresh ingredients that way we can actually can have a proper breakfast outside of town. Yeah, maybe. Don't I, cause I don't think you guys want these crackers. I see he pulls out one of the hard crackers and kind of bangs it on the side. It's actually... Does it actually, like, fall apart or anything? It stays whole. It's basically super duper dried bread. <laughs> Croutons had more more water to them. Yeah, I think we should probably get some real food. I think that's a good idea, Boulders. Yeah, because basically what I think you have is uh, some giant sausages, some dried mm -hmm. fruit, and hardtack. I think that's all you have, and a thing of water. Is the sausage, like, uh, perishable? 
It's basically the kind of sausage you just hang up and it just stays dry on the outside, but a little bit moister on the inside. So it would perish if we decide to leave for a couple of days, I assume. If you leave it for like three weeks, it'll just be gone. Yeah. Mm, should we take some of this sausage with us or what do you guys think? Yeah. I guess it would hurt. Maybe keep one around in the back. Maybe bring like one or two of them. Sure. All right, and uh, board this can shove into two, two of those sausages. <laughs> so the sausage in your pop- pocket, or are you just having my, to see me? My bag of holding. <laughs> I think that's eight or so. Who's keeping track of the stuff? Because last time... I didn't keep track of that part. <laughs> you didn't keep track of it? Did Abby? <laughs> who's in charge of logistics? Yeah, who's in charge of the ship logic? <laughs> Looks towards the haunt. Um, oh, yeah, he, he's been cutting out a bit today, sounds like. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, Mr. Abby. Is it a bad day for this? Mr. Poopy Pants. Hope not. Hope not, yeah. Maybe messed him to see if he's actually alive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ping him. He accidentally... I don't think so. Sorry, sorry, I could hear everything. My fucking headphones stopped working for some reason. Jeez. Uh. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. Um, I, I, could, I couldn't hear anything. My mic was... Work- I, I muted it because I was, like, fucking around for a minute. My fucking headphones work again. Mm-hmm. I'm glad to have you back. Yeah, look back. Yeah, were you keeping yeah, track of logistics? Uh, I I have not I have no clue what anyone just said. We were basically saying okay, we needed to. Well, Borla's was wanting to get extra food, like proper food, so you can have a little bit extra on board just to have that immediately, while the other stuff's just last minute right. it, or whatever. And I was asking, do you remember how much you got? Because I remember you got like a hundred biscuits of hardtack and a barrel of water, which would basically be good for about ten days for you all. And. Bolts doesn't need to eat, but he can if he wants to, so you can basically just not have him eat. He's basically okay with that. Mm-hmm. I think you bought mm-hmm. ten of the giant sausage links, which are basically about as big as your uh, wrist to your elbow area for size. I think so. I think I got eight and or ten. two sacks of just very dried fruit. So I'm going to just put that down in the notes section for... Yeah. Just want to know, like, okay, what do you guys want to leave on that ship? And like, what do you want to bring back? Because I got that bag of holding. I was thinking of bringing like a couple of links of sausage, just in case we can't find anything good and or we eat through our supply somehow. <laughs> oh crap! My arrow keys are kind of funky again. Oh no. Oh, no. Arrow of okay, arrow keys. Four, four, okay, there you go. I'm just putting that in. Anyway. Did he go again? No. Uh, okay. All right. <laughs> so, you're all going to shove off to the area. Let's. Um, if we're, if we're going to be shoving off, I'm going to take four of those sausages, I guess. Okay, four of the sausages. They're big sausages. That's why I got that bag of holding. Okay. I'm just going to ask, did you do the thing? Ooh. Oh, um, I will say he would probably have done it either. He would have written that letter up bef- uh, during the night, and before we all decide to shove off, he's going to uh, tink on the bird bell and uh, wait for the bird. Put the thing in there. It's like, go look for Iggy. Cool. At, the, at the bird on the, the wing a little bit when it's all, uh, I guess, like folded up and just let it fly away. <laughs> okay. I'm going to say... Anyway, where is the thing? So, as you put the letter in the tube, the hawk, also known as Martin, flies up, flies in circles for a moment, and then comes back down screeching at you. And Oh, look. It's she- Martin. Hello, Martin. You hear him just kind of give like a little greeting call to you, but he's screeching at Borla's and shaking his head. Why not? Well, you don't know. 
unless you want to do a general check with disadvantage for history. Disadvantage, history, seven. Yeah, all you know about these hawks is that they're able to sense, like, the people, but you don't know much else. Like, all you need would be a name and just the general intent, but other than that, you have no clue why he's not delivering the letter. Abby, why do you think this bird does not want to uh, do its thing? I was trying to send a letter to Iki. Um, well, I can think of three possible reasons. One, it doesn't like you. Two, it doesn't like Iggy. Or three, Iggy is somewhere that it cannot reach. Hmm. Maybe because of that blockade or something. They said something was going on with the Garuni Islands, didn't they? Or could it possibly be something that may be interfering? Maybe it's, maybe it's the whole drug operation going on down there. Oh, yeah, so if there's the whole drug operation, if there's potential big violence and everything, could it be that he's not actually able to reach Iggy? I don't know, what do you think, bird? <laughs> He just screeches again and just like pecking at the thing just to take it out. Uh, Borlas will take it out. <laughs> yeah, there's no change or anything to it. It's just your letter to him, so. Hmm. Right now, the bird is not going to deliver the letter. Damn. Oh my God, this fucking headset. Sorry, I, I am still here. If I'm not responding, it's because I can't hear anyone. It's okay. Oh no, I'll have to check it. Okay. Well, I guess Borlas is going to shove in that letter into his pocket and just <laughs> decide to go about his way, sadly. Okay. Anyone else have anything they want to do before they leave on the ship? Uh, let's see. Right now is the plan to go to the... Um, back to the uh, sailor? Yeah, the ferry. Ferry. Uh, <coughs> are, are we walking? Yeah, probably going to ride a letter back. Mm. And what were you saying? You're back? Uh, gonna... Oh, you're back? Welcome I'm back. back. I'm back. Okay. Just Hello any back. last minute Welcome things. Back. I just wanted to... Uh, uh, just just gonna ride like... Uh, that, you know, we, we're probably coming down south again, asking for a lift. Yeah, uh, Hello, like, he's in town, so... Badly. Oh, he's in town, I see. Yeah, he's in town, and you're going to go where he basically works, mm -hmm. so... You can always write and something if you want to, like a little true. message, given it'll probably be quick. Like, hey, yeah, we're just, hey, we're hopping by. Also, my name is Gix, by the way. <laughs> anyway, if you want to do that, it must be a quick note. Draw Mr. Banana banana is a, a crudely drawn banana. <laughs> but slightly better drawn now, because I've had all night to practice. Yeah, I will say, your drawing has gotten better. <laughs> uh -huh. Or I'd be sleight of hand to see how much a manga artist he is. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, you know what? Do sleight of hand, I want to see. You're not sure. Doop, doop, doop. Oh, wait, no, that's better because it's character sheet. Slide <laughs> of hand is that one. Okay. Nine. Yeah, only slightly better. You do manage to get your eyes very, very well, but you kind of fall apart with your face and everything else. <laughs> so you have very beautiful eyes, but then the rest of your face is just what? <laughs> it looks like your fucking drawings, Gex. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, it is a drawing. Anyway. We well, have a consistent yeah. style. Let's leave it at that. So you're going to send it? Thank you. Yep. Okay. Send off the bird. The bird actually does fly up and go straight up in north area, and it kind of dive bombs towards a set of buildings, and it just flies off for the rest of the day for the bird. So we go that way. I guess so. Let's head into town. Anyway, we get some music. Other than funky. No, only funky town. Only, only the funkies on our own. Funky music. Funky on our own. Funky music on our own. I can always try to find some other funky music. Here we go. 
the funkiest of music. I like my funky music, so if I play. Welcome, Butterfly. Oh. There we go. Funky. Ooh, there we go. <clears throat> anyway, so you all are going about your days for the town. Everyone's just kind of moving along. You see some of the people from earlier. Uh, one of the people who installed the bird thing is just kind of taking a moment's rest and playing up a thing. Hey, boys, how are you all? Well, the... I'm doing fine. <laughs> doing all right, partner. Hey, hey, quick, question, quick question about the bird. If it doesn't want to go do its thing, it circles around and screws us at you, what does it mean? Um, it circled around. It circled around above the thing, went back down to us and screeched at me. Oh. Well, here's the thing. If he was dead, they would have found the body. And they would have left the letter anyway. But... He's just gone. Like, he's probably in some place where he can't be reached by magic, or he's just gone from this place. Borbis is kind of, like, silent about that. Like, not like... The kind of like a, a shock silent. <laughs> you okay? Yes, yes. Just... Didn't expect this to happen with uh, Iggy at all. <clears throat> well, as, as he kind of just rubs his un, no, his, his, uh, his chin of some sort. <laughs> well, still, if you're looking for him, then you at least know he's probably not dead for whoever you're looking for. As long as he's not dead, that's the important thing. Yeah. But, where were you sending it to? The Greeny Islands. I don't know if that's also because of the whole drug... Th the whole thing down there. No, 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 no. You'd still be able to send messages and packages and stuff, but... There's nothing down there that would stop people, usually. I mean, what's stopping people from putting... Stuff inside the little containers and say, hey, go to this place? Yeah, but we make sure to send smaller birds usually like the one that you usually have for your stand i'd be okay because it's just letters and such like i don't expect you to send a bottle the bird would probably drop it or something if it's too heavy but yeah he's just not here we had that happen the other day when some mage wanted to just cut himself off for a little bit so who knows he might be in some place where magic's just making him stop or he might just be in polar place right now, we don't know. Hmm. Hopefully he'll be better. And hopefully he'll be back, I guess. And, uh, boy, this the same one start doing, he's gonna just start walking away a little bit sad. Aww. Is that a no? So then we'll talk to that guy's well, story now. Uh, no, I don't think so. You don't think so? Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, no, not right now. Are you having mic troubles again? Well, headset troubles, or...? Uh, not on my end. I think he's having headset troubles again, or FF. Oh, no. No, no, okay. Yeah. Okay, I get worried, and it's like, okay. It's like answering. It's like, I'm worried. <laughs> I worry about you all. Anyway. Uh, let's see. As you're all going through the port, you get to go to the uh, town area where it's more on actual land, and... With nice little buried stones and colorful reds and whites for the sidewalk. And as you're going down, Mr. Hands, you get a whiff of a very, very intoxicatingly sweet smell. And you're Whoa. just kind of having your body just feel dragged towards it, like the cartoon where you get like the little pie <laughs> smell. Mm -hmm. And it's like you're just like having that soon just turn around and just looking where it's coming from. And it's coming from a sort of alleyway where there's a bunch of stalls and you see a bunch of food there. So you might find something fun down there. Oh, hang is on. There a, is there a pie in the window for him? There's no pie in the window <laughs> that you can see. Hold on. Hold on, fellas. I gotta, I gotta check out this smell. Anyone else smell it? It smells real good. Uh, it does smell pretty good. You have a bit of a sweet tooth, do you, Mr. Hans? Oh, I got a hankering, all right. I'm gonna roll perception to see if I can start smell oh, that smell. Yeah. What's that smell? A certain that smelly, smelly smell that smells. Smelly. 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 So, does anyone else want to roll perception? Um, yeah, 
you want to show up on it. Okay. Or reception. Okay. I'm just seeing Borlis is a little bit more uh, out of mind right now from pure. Borlis doesn't yeah. know much about food, so he wouldn't, he wouldn't smell it. <laughs> Borlis is distracted trying to think about what the heck happened to Iggy or if someone's got him. And Mr. Her hands, Abby, and uh, what, Gix, you all smell fresh, baked, delicious pastries, but Abby specifically can smell like fresh alcohol, like very, <laughs> very, very rich, fresh alcohol. Gix, you can just smell immediately what it is. You know it is extremely rich honey. And as you're all going through the stall- Honey. Uh, Mr. Hands, you're all kind of like scooching people all the way, just going through their legs and bumping into a few people. And it's like, hey, watch it. And you're met with a sort of stall that is shaped like a very round honey pot. And inside you see what looks to be honey hanging from the ceiling and a, a rat folk lady dressed in what looks to be similar attire to yours, except with more fringe. And she looks down. Oh, hey, darling. How can I help you? Oh, hey, hey, man. Good morning to you. I've uh, I've been intoxicated by the smell of your honey here. Do you have any of it for sale? Oh, we got lots of sugar. We've got my fresh ant mead. We've got honey cakes. We've got honey candy. We've got a full pot of honey if you want that. And no, no, I'm I, I'm talking about like just the straight up honey that's like coming from the ceiling. Uh, how about this? You want a free sample and get a little taste? No, I, I don't need a taste. I just need the honey. Okay. So he just kind of leans in more into the, the desk here. I need the honey. I need, <laughs> I need it. Honey. She Monkey pulls up a honey. pot of honey. It's like a mm. gallon pot of honey. All right, that'll be one gold for this if you'd like. All right, I'll take it, and I'll flick her over a gold coin. All right, you now have a clay pot full of honey, and I'm going to have you roll perception just in case if you noticed it. Oh, bother. No, <laughs> you just you just take the honey, you just get your hands on the honey, and you feel like you've achieved your daily goal, and you just open the jar, and it just smells so, so good. I'm gonna post a photo here on Mr. Hans' reaction into text chat. Give me a moment, it's on the phone, but he's just so intoxicated. You want uh, a spoon sugar or are you good? No. I was about to say, is he like mid- no, I'll, I'll be good, I'll be, I'll be good with just my hands here. Alright, sweetheart, you enjoy. <laughs> Alright, thank which, you. Which hands are you talking about? <laughs> uh, is anyone else? <laughs> <laughs> the freaking monkey on oxygen. This is fucking high off honey. Yeah. Uh, it's it's the the <laughs> so Abby's was watching Mr. Hands going like, "What? I'm learning so much about this man." Today. Does anyone else want to get anything at the stall? It's got a nice little sign that says the honey pot the, on it. I said I could. You said I could smell alcohol, right? Yeah, you smell mm. alcohol, and she yeah. seems to have a couple of bottles here and there. Excuse me, madam. Um, ignoring the antics of my primate friend over here, I smelt Whoa. something vaguely alcoholic in here. Do you happen to sell any booze by any chance? Oh yeah, I've got mead right here. It's made fresh every single week, and I always make sure to ferment it. Well, I, I would hope you ferment it, otherwise it, it, it wouldn't be alcohol, but regardless, it does smell good. Um, tell me, any kind of varieties by any chance, or is it just kind of a, a one-size-fits-all? It's just a one-size-fits-all sugar. If you want to put in some little bit extra, I would like to, you to put in a little bit of cherry liqueur, if you'd like. Gives it a nice fruity taste that some people like to have at summer with a bit of ice. I do like things a little bit fruity, I have to admit. I will go <laughs> with that. Alright, it'll just be a silver for a bottle, is that okay? Yeah, I'll take two, if you will. All right, and she hands you two decent-sized bottles, and is very nice with it. They're very, very, very clear bottles, but you can see the beautiful <laughs> hue of the honey liqueur. Roll perception real quick to see if you notice. Oh, pun, sir. Roll perception real quick to see if you notice. Roll perception. So. Not twenty. As you're handing her the money, you see the head of a giant ant staring at you from the ceiling. What the fuck are you? 
Oh, that's my honey cask ants. They're from the desert. I'm from Emolk Valley, if you want to know where. They're are tame. These, they're are, tame. Are, are, are these like honey pot ants that exist in the real world? Yes, but they're giant. They're honey cask ants. Right, so you're saying that what I'm about to drink was vomited up by one of your friends up there. Oh, but that's the same as normal bees, you know. Bees vomit up honey, too. They're tame. They're clean. I always make sure to wash their cut in daily. You know, when you explain honey like that, it becomes significantly less appetizing. I would potentially refrain from doing, putting that in your marketing. Mm. Yeah. I'll take it then. If you don't <laughs> no, I'm it. still going to drink it. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I'm just saying it may not be the best marketing strategy to be like, come drink our delicious insect vomit. Well, I don't always advertise I mean, it. I, I just keep them here that what because honey it's safe. Is all about? See? Your friend yeah. gets it. Insect vomit. I just assume Mr. Hands is just like finding a place to just sit down and just like, gorge himself on honey. Oh, not, not yet. He's just uh, he's just holding it around with pure glee on his face. I will say the whole You're market space glee. is in an alleyway that is just uh, giant trawler nets everywhere on the roof, and you see these birds trying to poke their heads in, but they're failing. Oh, I see. I see. <clears throat> Alright, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna chill in the alleyway and uh, wait for wait for everyone to regroup. Yeah. Do you have anything that can brighten the mood up a bit? Oh, darling, I've got. Kind of got a little bit of a downside news a bit this morning. Well, you know, uh, it always brightens up kids' days. We've got uh, little honey candies, and she just pulls out a little paper bag with uh, some round yellow O candies inside. They're pretty cheap, easy to make. Want some? Mm, yeah, at the at the period, some news. Uh, I would probably appreciate it a lot better. Sorry, this like I said, some news. Uh, some letter didn't come in or go get delivered. Some via. Yeah, we a bird, and now I'm just a little bit worried about someone. Oh, you poor thing. Here, come on. Come hug Mama Sandra. Your boy is gonna go for the hug. <laughs> yeah, she pa she pats your back. It's just very nice, and, and she just, uh, just hands you the thing of candies. Here, on me. No, no, no. You get something from it. How much is it? It's five copper, sweetie. Yeah, she just tosses over a silver piece. <laughs> Take it. Here, take two. Okay. okay. So you get two bags of ten candies each. And they're just basic honey candy. Thank, thank you very much. As uh, Boris is going to hang out with uh, Mr. Hands and he's going to uh, probably pop one in his mouth. <laughs> yeah. Sweet, simple, energizing. Kind of like a sweeter cough drop, basically. <laughs> Does it taste like a cough drop? <laughs> no, it doesn't taste like a cough drop. I'm just saying it tastes like uh, it's like a cough drop for the size and the shape and what it looks like for like those Ricola ones, the really good honey ones. Mm -hmm. But it's just pure honey. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. And after that, probably it's gonna feel a little bit better about his day. Just thinking a little bit more of like, well, if he's not if he's not dead, that's the good news. Just. Where could he even be now? Oh. He's already with, like, Mr. Hands. <laughs> yeah. You're just monologuing to Mr. Hands, basically. Pretty much. Um, Mr. It sounds like your cousin's a bit, of a, a bit of a wanderer. Hmm. Usually he's like to stay close by the village. It's just, it's just weird, like, how like off he is on his own now. Then again, he... He did came from the Gluni Islands and came all the way to Nerdafeld for some reason. Even he doesn't remember. Oh? This was washed upon the shore. That's the weird thing, he washed upon shore of Nerdafeld. Ah. He's technically not blood related whatsoever. We just adopted him as part of the family. It's just. It's weird how somebody can get from down south all the way up to Nerefin. Like, all the way in the... in the cold area. As if, like, he pops another one into his mouth, just kind of like this... just a little bit confused, though. <laughs> Keep his mind on track to think... thinking food. 
Yeah. Okay. Anyway. You want anything, sugar? And she's looking down at Gex. Mm. Well, I have some of what he's having. It points towards the, uh... Horned Red Fellow. Okay. You just want silver for a bottle, is that okay? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, sweetie. And she hands you over a bottle. <laughs> Right. Opens the bottle, gives it a good whiff, and closes it again with good stuff. Ant whiff. mead. It is ant mead. Yes. Anyway, you all have a nice day. The do it, don't care. We'd be a lot better with this stuff, thank you very much. Okay. So that's Mr. Hans' expenditure. What is he doing right now? He's just still hanging out? He, he's looking at it. Is he high on yeah. couple me right now? <laughs> He's high on fucking honey right now. High on um, life. Oh yeah. Um, he's kind of gonna look around. You know, just taking some of the settings here, and he's gonna look into the honey. He's gonna take his pointer finger, dip it into it, and just kind of hold it out in front of him and take a look at the. Uh, at the honey that's drizzled on his finger before he puts it in his mouth to take a to take a bite. Or not a bite, but you know, eat the honey. Yeah. This feels like something is sort of awakening in you a little bit, primal. Like this is just immediate just joy and just jubilation of actually having something that feels so natural to you. Like nostalgic almost. And the honey is so beautifully sweet. It's not like the original honey that you had in the jungle old dream, but you feel like this is a very, ver very worthy replacement. It's amazing. It's beautiful. Just the sweet oh. taste. That's good. You doing okay then, Mr. Hans? Yep, all good. You do realize if you don't stick your fingers in there more often than not. I could probably make something good with uh, that and some kind of drizzling. <laughs> oh no no no! This is uh, this is my honey. All this. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm going to take it all. I'm just saying a little spoonful can make something great, even better. Mr. Hands is gonna dip another finger in and eat it. Oh, it's so good. Sometimes I think all this. That things are better left to their simplicity. Um, I'll leave it up to you as to whether I'm talking about the honey or Mr. Hands himself. <laughs> yes. Uh. Yes to both. Um, if we're passing by the marketplace, uh, Bord is actually trying to take a look for any like fresh ingredients you can take for the road. <laughs> You see a couple people just offhand just selling like grain or a couple things of fresh fish that are kind of look a little old for some of them. Like, this seems like a decent-ish market. It's not like the trashiest stuff or the like, extremely expensive things. It's kind of middle of the ground, so you'll get a mixed bag of things. Is there any kind of meat besides fish? Is there like a butcher's shop? Um, I'm going to say you do pass by someone who's selling what seems to be labeled as boar meat, but on closer inspection, it looks like normal, just minced crocodile and stuff. Just whatever they could find, like shellfish, crocodile, fish, whatever. Like, you can, you can tell that it's just failed minced meat, basically. Mm. As boar this decides to uh, avoid that situation and just tries to go for some fresh fish instead. Okay. You come across a half-elf and is hawking some fish. It's just like, all right, we got our fresh catches of the day, and they do seem pretty nice. Like, you get a wide variation, wide, wide, wide variation of fish. You get, like, mackerel and some um, more thicker fish here and there, like the usual tropical-ish fish. Fish. Fish of all kinds that all taste about the same. Yeah, the oh, fish. not every fish tastes the same. Some have different. You just taste all fish taste the same. It's a, it's a joke. Of, what? Of everything. All fish do the not same. taste the same. It's a joke. Like there's a very distinct variation between mahi mahi and tuna. You can definitely tell what salmon is instead of having trout. It's very distinct, especially for catfish and other bottom fit eater fish. It 
anyways. <laughs> yeah, it's mostly ocean fish up here. Mm, what do you have anything that can be uh, used for travel? Uh, travel? I don't really sell dried fish. If you want to, you can always just put this over a smoker like like, if you're going to do a campfire or something. But I don't know. Like campfire, that's what I mean. <laughs> okay. Um, my best bet if you're doing a lot for that or just yourself. Mm, I got four, maybe five people to cook, basically. Okay. And he brings you over to what looks like a fairly long-ish fish. I can sell you this if you want for a bit. It's not giant, but it can definitely be cut into segments and just put onto a little rack above it and just be smoked. Can I roll survival or history or whatever to kind of see what kind of fish this is? Uh, survival, yeah. 18. Yeah. You can tell it's a fairly big fish that would kind of be on its own, not in many schools or whatever, and it's a standard predatory fish. It's just around the area. Some kind of barracuda, pretty much? Yeah. <laughs> mm, how much for the, for the long fish, then? Uh, if you just want it fresh, I can do two silver. If you want me to butcher it for you, it'd be five. Mmm... Boar that's just thinking over. Mm, you know what? Let's go with the butcher's cut. All if right. you see how your handy work is done. <laughs> All right. He cracks his knuckles and takes out a very long and slender knife, and he's going to take a crack at it. He's going to move him. Yeah, he cuts this thing very quickly. You can tell he's very used to just gutting fish all day. And he puts the dross in a bucket as for the chum for later. Anyway, do you want this cut into segments or just as is? Like, it's headless right now. It's just the usual fish I'll size. Take it. I'll take it that is. All right, five silver. Sounds like a good deal. And it passes that over and I'll take the barracuda. For the, the gutted barracuda. Yeah. Anyway. Thanks. Have a nice day. You too. I have I have fish with travel. <laughs> fish with clay. Okay, will that be all for the market expenditure? Um. Yeah, that's. I'm gonna say that's fine for now. <laughs> okay. Anyway, Mr. Hands. I is... want. Hmm? Oh, sorry. Sorry. What were you gonna Carry say? Carry on. Does anyone want anything else? Um. I'm just going to have a look and see if there are any potential uh, weapon shops around. This Ooh. seems to be mostly just a green grocers. There's no <laughs> weapons or whatever else. It's just a market. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, like if anyone wanted to set up a stool or something with any kind of exotic weapons or anything like that, it's a port city after all. Yeah, there's nothing of note there. It's mostly just for the area what people would go to to get their food for the day. Anyway. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no problem at all. So, I assume you all are going to go to the ferry. Pretty much, yeah. Sure. So, you do fly. Oh, not fly. You do go to the general direction of where the hawk flew, and you come up across a mouth to a river that's heading inward, and you attach to it down the street a little bit when it's going inland. You see a fairly big white house, and you see a. Uh, Gix can see a familiar man just doodling on top of it, like he's looking out to see, and you can tell he's just sitting on the ledge, just kind of sketching out. And he's just sighing a little bit, just, mm, mm. And you do see the sign for the ferry right there. You even see a couple dock ships in front of the port. Hmm. Looks like we have company, gentlemen. Kicks, of course, ways to the uh, ferryman. He's. Hey! Oh, you actually say? I'm oh, just going like, hey! Okay. Over here! That's about it. You kind of move around and just look down. It's like, oh, hey! You, you, yeah. I got your letter like a minute ago. Gix. That's it. Gix, right? Yes. Alright, cool. What can I help you with? Uh, we kind of need a bit of a uh, ride down south to the Gruny Islands. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, little dude. I'm gonna just... I'm gonna come down, is that okay? I'm gonna come down. 
Of course. Anyway. He, like, moves up and he goes onto the roof and he goes down what you can only assume is a trapdoor. But as that's going on, you hear a little rang of a very slender black cat coming towards you from the sort of the street from the door. Very keenly looking at Gix and Borla's mostly. What do you want, Kit? Gix of Falls burns down to pet it, which is not very far. He needs to bend on account of, you know, the height thing. Uh, roll animal handling. Yep. Hold up. Uh, back to my computer. Animal handling is there. Ah. Oh, I need to scroll Eight. Down. Eight. So, you do lean in down to uh, pet the cat, and it looks a little okay at first, but you see its mouth sort of open up, and its face seems slightly elongated, and it just moves over away from you, just kind of, like, huh. annoyed. But as you do, you can see its tail seems to have fins on it, like fins going up its back. What in the world is that thing? Each cat? <laughs> or Liz, do you want to roll... Uh, what is it? Survival, real quick? Survival. 18. So, you've seen a couple of very questionable animals in Nerfil. Like, you know owl bears and stuff, how they're like a mixture of two animals. Mm -hmm. This is an e-line. It is a moray eel mixed with a house cat. Oh, it's, it's one like of these animals. animals. Basically. And this cat is suddenly just being around Borla's, but where's Abby and Mr. Hands right now? Uh, Abby was just kind of wandering around the market looking for anything that might represent weapons, but he's, prob he's come up empty, so he probably will have, you know, tried to meet up with the others. Yeah, so, and Mr. Hands? Uh, I'll probably just follow along with the others as well. Just eating is honey that... as you go. How how much is that honey has he eaten so it's far? It's a gallon of body? honey, so... Yeah, I can't have eaten too much of it. I'm only taking yeah. it one finger at a time. You're basically just guess... dunking your finger in just to get like a little bit yeah. each time. Okay, yeah. I guess I'll just roll animal handle and see how I just handle this yeah. E-line. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not, not 20. 20. You... This thing just, you go down to pet it, and it just jumps onto your shoulders, and it's just nuzzling your, er, like, your hat a little bit, just getting comfy on the fur of it, of your jacket, and it is purring along. Hey, look, I'm with Flint. It's a motorbike! Holy shit! <laughs> Do you What's a motorbike? Are you actually saying something to it? Who? Uh, Abby. Abby. No, uh, Abby. Abby's just Abby. Quite happy, content with Martin. He doesn't really care about many of the other creatures. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. So the captain does come down. It's like, oh, I see you've met Jenna. Jenna. Yeah, Jenna's my guard cat. She usually keeps the light e clear for everyone. I don't take her on board, but she's always a very friendly creature, as long as she's, she's not a bad person. I'll say she seems to not be guarding too well. It seems. <laughs> As said, uh, she gets a little pet. A little scritcher into the chin. Uh, she's a big, a big little lovable ball of fur. You know, like as you pet it, you feel like it's an otter's fur, sort of like very, very, very smooth fur. Like this feels like uh, the kind of water-resistant fur animals would usually have. Anyway, I'm sorry, little dude. I can always get you inward more if you want to go through there. But other than that, I have nothing I can do for you for going down south, Phil. I just... I got to get all my people up here to just be home and just pull them here, go on vacation. And luckily I did manage to get a little bit of money together so I can actually pay everyone while they're on leave, so... Won't be that long, hopefully. Oh, I... By, by the way, was there anything else in that letter that you sent him? Besides saying, hey, feet, feet strip or something? I gave him uh, uh, some seashells and some seeds for his little banana thing. One of the guys seemed to I like just... him a bit, but not a whole lot. 
seashell, seashell, you know, seashell necklace. Yeah. Looks good on you. It. Thanks. Anyway, I see you've got friends now. Ah, yeah, um... Huh. Yeah. Friends. I haven't heard those before. Are, are they actually Dick, your you friends? you stupid fucking lizard, what are you talking about <laughs> over there? Ah. We're not friends, what are you talking you. about? Are they actually your friends? <laughs> Gig sees them as friends at least. Okay. He doesn't know what friends are actually supposed to be like. <laughs> I'm tempted to have you roll. Gig, are you sewing them your stupid drawing? <laughs> Show them the drawing, it's hilarious. Show them your fanfic! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you've got to see this. Gigs, Gigs, get the drawing. Okay. It's just he, the one he guy. The banana. <laughs> he looks at the cover and he opens one page that just promptly closes it slowly. Interesting. Yeah, I heard about this for absolutely hours. make people join. Uh, some people, maybe. Anyway, he just shakes his head, and he just holds out his arm, and the E-Line Jenna just hops over. Ugh. Anyway, I'm sorry about that, boys. I just... You know how it is. Oh, good. We'll just wait until, you know, the whole thing blows over, I guess. Yeah. Hopefully in a couple weeks the government's like that, but who knows how long they're gonna stay. <sighs> well, the Apparently we have some market thing going on, or merchant thing happening soon, I guess. Oh, you mean the government's new gathering of merchants? I ferried a couple people up from the colonies for that. Wait, that's uh, happening back at the capital, right? Yeah, it's basically whoever is working, quote-unquote, for the capital. You can get basically a couple people for your own good. It's kind of like a contract thing where they work for you, but you don't take them with you, they're just... You get rushed orders for specific things if you want, if you sign up for it. It's no cost. It's basically you pay them specifically. It's... <sighs> I don't know how economics works, I just know how my business works, but they're basically getting a lot of people experience in the world while getting actual money for some things by being in a more populous area. So being strange with the... Talking about the uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Economics. <laughs> yeah. Look, I I know how to run a business. I know how uh, to pay people. I don't know how to run a government or a country. Sometimes we do. Sometimes we don't. Most yeah. of the times we don't. Yeah. I mean, hell, if that was one right there was government official, he'd probably burn down half this continent by now. I. Probably would expect that. Like he's just looking at bananas. It's supposed to be just like blinking with one eye, one, one eye, one eye, and then the other eye, like a second later. Nick's is not blinking. He's licking his eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> he does not blink. I like yeah. how Gix is supposed to be like sort of stupid, but I think he has like a plus to an int or something. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> he's just playing. He dumb. knows a lot about some very specific things. He's also think I got the highest wisdom. Well, yeah, he's a druid. Yep. Exactly. So I mean, I have a 17 even... in wisdom. <laughs> yeah, I think it's 17 and 18 for yeah, boilers and gets respectively. Fair enough. <laughs> Those are the most smartest fucking people in this goddamn group. <laughs> also the strongest. <laughs> also the strongest. <laughs> like, you have the most strength and the most in and whiz. I love it. Wait, me yes, or him? I'm very handsome and charming. You are very handsome and you know how to carry yourself. I think Mr. Hands is the most dexterous, too. Well, can yeah. you lick your own eyeball? I think not. <laughs> but it seems like he you can lick his own finger. You don't want to know what I've licked, Gix. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if Abby, because he's so just skinny, has actually tried to suck himself off at this rate. <laughs> It doesn't tried, take more for that tried, shit. You dishonor me. I succeeded. <laughs> like, you managed to just break your ribs because of all the things that happened in the past. It's like, ha, ah, joke's on you. I can do what everyone, every man wants to now. <laughs> Abby, Abby turns around to Gix and he just opens his mouth and his tongue just comes out. And he, Gix just sees that his tongue goes all the way down, like, past his chin. And he yeah. just smiles at him. Just Gene Simmons' tongue. You don't know what I'm about, son. <laughs> You have unlocked a whole bunch of fetishes that no one ever thought about. <laughs> At least not often enough anymore. All the fan art has not been there. 
<laughs> Look, if you can be paid to do it, I'll learn it. That's all I'm saying. The swirly go round. Anyway. <laughs> yep. You said it out of us. That is the thing. Wait, do you know the comic I'm referencing when I say it? Nope. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> well, Google, here I come. It was like a 600 page comic, I'm not gonna lie. Anyway. So yeah, Let's see the... incognito in the <laughs> go. So the captain is just kind of petting his cat, and she's like, yeah, I. Again, I'm sorry. I'm just as tech as you all. I don't know what's going on with the app. Uh, the stuff, but. Uh, whatever. Mm. So, what are you all going to do for the next bit? Like, are you gonna stay around here, or are you going to go up north? Because staying around here, oof, that's probably not a good idea. Well, our plans to go south got somewhat scarpered, and while well, one of our companions here doesn't really want to go north, so it kind of leads us two directions, which are east and west. He doesn't want and to go believe north? Me, I've gone uh, west a couple of complications. Hmm. Complications of what kind? <laughs> don't uh, No, don't worry, I've hired pirates before. Well, then I can imagine what type of complications pirates would have that they would not want to travel, if you know what I mean. I wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> yes, uh, clearly, clearly the guy in the weird hat does not know anything about piloting. Uh, you want to say my hat's weird? <laughs> hey, mine's from winter times, I'm about you. <laughs> He does, he does kind of stand near Mr. Hands, like, do you mind if I ask for a little bit more? Because I might have a little bit of potential news. I should get a weird head. Uh, let's just say it could be potentially law-related trouble, but what's the news? Uh, a couple of gangs are now kind of like official vigilantes. The Silver Hand Gang is one of them. You know, the people who usually wear cloaks and just kind of ad acts like they're... The typical badass heroes that they try to be when, in fact, they're just crazy people who know how to run on rooftops. Uh huh. Do kind of success with that. They run on rooftops with their arms behind them. No, they usually move fairly close to the body. I've seen a couple. They look weird when they do it, but they can move. Yeah. It's... Well, Mister Mister Hands <laughs> is gonna just quickly flash the. Uh, I think it's the vigil that's engraved onto his knife and say, This is who I currently work for, so I doubt that they would have opened things up for us just yet. He you work for a knife? He looks in and it's like, Oh, oh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, basically, any group that's not been around for a while, they're not investigating much. More of the guards are just worried about the drug issue right now, so you're probably in the clear for at least a little bit. Um, wait. Interesting. Did you all work for the government already? Unfortunately, so. <laughs> Sans yes, document, do. I think. I got slapped. You got <laughs> slapped. Like, if you did anything, you kind yeah. of cleared your name indirectly if you did anything. Like, did you do anything good? Oh, look at you, Mr. Hands, a regular government employee. I'm sure your clientele will be thrilled <laughs> to hear it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I guess you could call it a good thing. This man's a, he's a regular detective at this point. Honestly, he's probably stopped more criminals than he's aided. In fact, I would <laughs> highly suggest that you get the word out to the criminal underworld that Mr. Hands has turned over a new leaf. I don't think I will, sir. Make Thank sure you. every major criminal knows it. I'm sure he'll greatly appreciate the, the, the good publicity. I think well, we no stay... publicity would be the good publicity there. Yeah, but I that would be significantly thing. funny. That's the... <laughs> to you, but we all know what a little thing called branding is. Anyway. Oh yes, I guess... I, I'll be honest with you, I don't know much about criminal activities, so you have to bear with me here. <laughs> oh, do you need a, a little tutoring? <laughs> uh, uh, honestly, any pointers would be great. I, I, I'll be honest to you, uh, this whole crime thing, very, very new to me, and I just worry I'll do something wrong, you know. I just, I, 
I've been, I've been a good citizen of the Empire my whole life. Only kind of government work. Like I've, that's how I met Mr. Hands here. You know, he told me his story, and I showed him the ropes in terms of deception. How to, deception. You know, follow, follow the rules and tell them. I'm either the same. I just want to say Yeah, deception. <laughs> Borlas, you kind of get like this guy was. BSing you about a lot of stuff in the past, but you kind of get that maybe Abby would have helped out a little thing. It's like, you see that they've been buddy buddy every so often, so you kind of get the hint. Gix, you know he's just like yep. BSing. He's done some horrible, horrible stuff, especially given he's got a ship from somehow. And Probably stole it. I'm just going to roll for him. Gix knows for a fact that I'm evil. Oh, Oh, crap. Like, Gix, Gix yeah. knows objectively that I'm evil. Gix does 100% yep. know you're evil. And it's like, oh, that's sweet of you. But still, gangs are different than pirates. If you want to be a good pirate, privateers usually get looked at for a couple of things. Like, if you do one task a month and just do some crazy shady E stuff under or the radar, you're all good. Right, right, right. I see. So, would you suggest that maybe pirating might be a, well, not a good idea per se, but do you, you think I might be suited for it? Oh, for sure. Okay, I, I'll bear that in mind. It's not something I've really considered before, but I'll bear it in mind. One good thing pirates always forget, they need someone to talk, and not just talk just to be insulting to everyone. Knowing all the four-letter words right. known to the world is perfect, but right, knowing how to tell people to stop and that you're doing... Just your usual daily stuff while under the tarps you are not doing anything good. That'll work. But right, don't take right, it from right, me. Right. I'm just a fairy conductor. Well, you know, absolutely. No, you're the expert here. I never really thought that my skills would lend themselves to piracy, but you know, keep your wind, keep your doors open. You know, cast a wide net, you catch more fish. I'll definitely bear it in mind. You hit, and I turn around to the others and go, "You hear that, guys? She, they think I have the potential to be a pirate. What do you think?" <laughs> Gix flips him the bird. Gix flips him the bird. Banana. Gix, it's really impressive how you're you're able to do that considering you don't even have five fingers. That's. He just puts banana kiss in his hand and it just becomes five. Yes. Yeah. Starts, you know, <laughs> a small flame mi above banana kiss. That's the biggest Mikkel's finger I've ever seen. <laughs> I, I, you, mm, you yeah, want to compare size? You wound me, Gix. You wound me. <laughs> no. I've, I think I know when to call your bullshit now. <laughs> oh, do you? I mean, yes. <laughs> Alright, let's try that. Alright, Gix, we're going to play a game. Oh, games. I like games. It's called, it's called Two Truths and a Lie. I'm going to tell you three things, and you have to tell me which one of them is a lie. Okay? Yes. Okay. Number one. I've spent the majority of my time in Soral. Number two. My middle name is Ronathan. Number three, I was actually originally the one to be approached by Bananacus, and I told him, actually, I know a better man for the job. Boy, this is going to think in his head all three of those are a lie. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like bullshit, all of it, especially the last one. Absolutely the last one. One sec. But, uh, okay. one sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. Actually, one. Okay, it's been a second. Not one. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 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 Oh, <laughs> so, yes. how many of them were lies? I need Gix to get in that one to beat them. No, he Man, knows. Nope. He sees okay, through. Gix. Well, what, 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 what does he see through? Because none of them were true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna say because in that one, he knows you're just uh, being the most bullshittiest bullshit ever like if you were that was a horrible lie even for you <laughs> you're not just one cow you're the whole you know damn pasture i i tip my hat to the the greater sleuth of the two of us and i make a solemn vow to you right here and now 
to never lie to you again. Roll insight on that I. shit. <laughs> insight, insight. Okay. Oh. oh no. Yeah, maybe he <laughs> will turn over a new leaf. I don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> maybe he will turn over a new leaf. You can see through yeah, his yeah. things. You see through every lie I tell. What can I say? You really got me now. I'm genuinely impressed. Yep, every lie. Yeah, uh, it must be a blessing of banana cursed. Yeah, it's must the only be. Expl only explanation. No, no other, no other being could provide such insight and wisdom. Amazing. Now where were yeah, we? Can oh, I yes. add like an extra upgrade to Bananicus next time I level up? Just being able to more easily tell through people slash. <laughs> no, just, <laughs> just point the banana play. at them like a, oh, like the scenes where oh, they're interrogating to, someone. Like banana. <laughs> Zone of banana truth. You can only speak in the rhymes with banana. Oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah. The, the captain just kind of just watching you all, just laughing a little bit. Uh. Mm. Yeah. But I guess if anything, what we did in terms of good was we stopped uh, some kind of ritual a bit up by uh, the Great Cascade to uh, stop some stuff for some children. I pissed in the ball buster's soup, it was great. <laughs> I poisoned it. Right. Quite a combo. I would not recommend drinking piss and poison in one sitting. I will not try that. I think you're at least good enough to not be put on wanted lists for the time being, which is good enough right now. Everyone's distracted yep. with the usual I, stuff. I definitely won't be put on one. <laughs> Mainly because I already am on most of them. But <laughs> I won't be put on one, I promise you. Yeah. Anyway, that'll be all for now. I'll see you boys later. If you do want a ferry ride inwards, I can always bring you to the entrance of the Great Cascade if you're down here again. Alright. Oh, duly notes are very kind of you. Yeah, you still got the ticket, right? He's looking at Gix. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That'll be for all, all of your friends right here. Sounds like a good deal there. Okay. As my deepest concern and apologies, I will expand that into more than just you. Is that okay? Oh, thank you. So long as you don't bring like 20 Sorry. people, we're good. Sorry, what? So what I'm getting is the limit is 19. <laughs> okay, I'm going yes. to use my own judgment, smart Alec. My name's, my name's Abby, Who's so Alec? it's an easy mistake to make. <laughs> Captain Calamus, it's nice Calum to meet you. Captain Abby, pleasure is all mine. Mm -hmm. What's your vessel? Siren's Call. Parked in the dock over there at the moment. <sighs> Beautiful name. Oh, and in the name of honesty, I am a pirate. <laughs> With that kind <laughs> of outfit, it's easy to tell. Everyone likes to shut up their stuff. That's the right thing, because who wouldn't oh. want to do that? It's like so saying you... the whole sign of I'm dangerous, do not mess with me. Oh, but believe me, son. No one struts like me. <laughs> As he fucking John Lennon walks away. Yeah, John Lennon walks away. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So what's the plan now? It's about, give or take, uh, 9 o'clock right now in the morning. Um, I can actually go for an IRL bathroom break if that's okay. right with everyone. Let's take a break. I'm gonna okay. pause the music. Oh. All right. Yeah. BRB. I uh, could also use BRB. Everyone, something. we're just going to take a quick break. Everyone, stretch, use yeah. the bathroom, whatever. No. I will be right back as well. No, I refuse. <sighs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna piss myself <laughs> on this chair right here to prove everyone that I don't need you to go to the bathroom. Ooh, film it! I want to see. I mean, I pull my phone out. <laughs> Hell yeah, film it so I can watch it when I come back. Be right back. Epic game. Now this is a gamer moment. <laughs>
Now I'm actually just thinking in real life, like, okay, what the fuck are we supposed to do now? Okay, back up. Welcome back. I am going to say this. We did get bits today, so that will be going to the funds for D&D items. Yay. <laughs> I also have um, hmm? How many bits did we get from the center of a Tootsie Pop? A hundred. Hell yeah. Also, now I was thinking in real life, what the fuck else do we have? Because all they want to go up north. South's not an option. All we got left is east and west. Find out. All depends where you go for what's going to happen today. I mean, we did, like, one out of the two things we have. <laughs> That's when I want to say, fuck it, let's go in the opposite direction. <laughs> Plot. <laughs> you have a lead north and south. You know what? Fuck it, we're going west. I'm back. Hello. Welcome back. Just talking about like how we literally have like only like one or two options and what we don't we can't we can't even do with the whole ship. There was like the merchant, I think. Wow, so much railroading. Mm. <laughs> okay, <it's> so west. <laughs> I'm assuming <laughs> one coyote for railroading. Hey, railroading, railroading. I'm taking you to a. I'm gonna post <laughs> oh, well, there's a raid. RPG nightmares on Reddit and they'll tell you. That's a raid, a, a, sorry. A raiding party of one. Hey, I'll accept any raid. Hell yeah. <laughs> like, I did give you open access to the continent, so sue me, but I do have plot stuff, I'm sorry. I can't believe it. I'm I'm brimming with rage. <laughs> You're taking tell. away our agency like the number taker takes away numbers. I'm All right, so we're good. furious. Oh, what happened? Who rustled your jimmies? Yang Yang is Yang is officially the worst DM in the world. <laughs> no! What happened? I'm sorry everyone. Rocks fall and everyone dies, that's it. She's oh, no. ruined everything. Oof. You must now all play as Gregory 1 skin, Gregory 2 skin, Gregory 3 skin, Gregory 4 skin. <laughs> no one wants to be Gregory I'll, I'll 1 skin. He's Mr. so weak and pathetic. He's a fucking shrimp. No, I'll play, I'll play as Mr. Yoda. <laughs> I'll be Mr. Bean. Now look in the text chat. Mr. Bean, Wallace, and Gromit. <laughs> Mr. Yoda, what the heck? Karate Wars? Wax on, wax off. <laughs> Karate Wars, I would uh, eat, like, let's take away the context that being a Star Wars Karate Kid crossover. If a movie came out called Karate Wars, I would watch the fuck out of that. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. So... Waiting. Are we all good? In the process of waiting. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're mm. good. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I'm eating Bazel. I'm sorry. Oh, good. I'm gonna snack. A sneak. All good. Okay. Rotty Wars. All right, you've got a couple things you can do right now. <clears throat> Name one of them. 
<laughs> you do have a couple of things. Like, if you want... Okay, I was getting random people yelling. I swear, I'm going to hurt them all someday. But anyway, there's a Finding the Hangar. You can go up to the Are capital. Are Karate Wars? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that will be a one shot sometime for next summer, probably. Karate Everyone Wars. Has to yes. play a monk. Everyone has to play a monk or a fighter that strictly does bow staff fighting. I'll just be a goblin fighter. Or not goblin fighter, goblin monk. I'm <laughs> goblin <oldest>. fighter? <laughs> it's like Goblin Slayer, but he only wrestles with them. He gets Goblin Slayer, but he can't manage to kill him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's Goblin Fighter. It's because you're kneecap instead. <laughs> goblin Maimer. <laughs> Anyway. So we have what again? There's a couple of things. If you really want to search around town for maybe some more intel, you can. If you want to go up north, you can to the market. It's gather well, the gathering of merchants or to find the hangar. Or if you really want, you can try and brave some stuff if you want to just suddenly go south. Um, <laughs> we wanted I'm... to try and get shot down. Oh, okay. sorry. Do you want to get shot down to ruin Abby's ship? No. I, I, oh, yeah. I was going to say, can, I, I want to have a look around and see if I can find any kind of unsavory types anywhere. Yeah, plus, I'm, um, um, oh, sorry, keep going. Roll that, investigation. That I, might be able, I, I want to see if I can find any unsavory types and find out a little bit more about what the fuck is going on with this drug trade shit. Roll investigation real quick. No. Like, all you can get from some of them would be, like, a few people are doing the usual shipment loading, and given that they said that they blocked off the ports of just around Iriac in general, that they might be trying to smuggle it in through just general trade or whatever else, but other than that, you cannot find anyone who kind of sticks out. Yeah, Borlutz yeah, is going to try investigation through his bullshit ways. <laughs> He's going to try and like, look for the not-so-friendly-looking guys, not like... If, if you find anyone, ballers, point me in their direction. I'd like to have a chat with them. Well, 17. Okay. So, um, let me actually see. Oh, right. I've got that uh, just as an encounter. Okay. <clears throat> so, immediately, Borlas, you take a look down the alleyway, and you see a couple of people just, like, meeting together. But it's going through to, like, the river area. And you just see stumbling out from the river. If you want to roll history, you see a very, very beaten and bruised merfolk lady who's just panting and just going, oh, And furthermore, fuck you, nature! 14. So all the way back for the Burrow Buster stuff with the meeting, you remember Kelvin, the gator -er -er guy, the old guy, sent a lady down south named Amelia to try and flush out anything. You assume she got lost because she seemed to be mostly only in it for fighting? Right, right, right. Um... And the two guys are just staring at her and just like, come on guys, let's just go. Just, come on, let's go. Away from her. Uh, is anyone away? Is anyone near Borlas, by the way? Um, I think, I I'd be think Abby, Abby, was Abby was coming with. Yeah, Abby was going with you. The whole gang's coming with. Yeah, yeah I'd say Gix is following along as well. So the two guys that are kind of walking away and just trying to keep away from you all is, are about well, average build. Uh, what are they called? Uh, well, Tritons, that's it. And they're Your just. Moms? <laughs> Tritons. And they're just moving away. It's like, uh and they just are keeping an eye on you as they go f away from town a little bit into the woods. Amelia is just standing there, grumbling, and is, like, shambling over. What happened to you? I could a catfish dragged in. <clears throat> you all didn't want to come with me, and I was here. The other hunters left me when I was asleep. So I had to walk all the way either north or south. I didn't know which. Apparently well, south. I have to say, you didn't give off the most friendly team oriented impression to us. I wanted people to help me kill people. I did kill a lot. Yes, but that wasn't really it was it was more of an altruistic mission and being in it purely for the murder, as much as I respect the hustle. 
does not a good team member make? <clears throat> anyway, how do you all fare out? Me we did another murder. Good. We That's all I care round. about. We killed the uh, hit honcho of cult. Son of a bitch, I want to do that. Okay. Was a piss infused giant bat cow. That sounds worse. I'm not envious anymore. Tell me, what do you do outside of, well, where we encountered you? Is it just walking around murdering people? Uh, uh now, yes. I get paid for it. Mercenary work, That's if you sweet. want to call it something savory. You're an Are assassin. you a bounty hunter? That's the word. Bounty hunter. And she just grins kind of toothy. Question. Who's yeah. hiring you to hunt these bounties, or is it just kind of your own volition? Oh, I find what the government wants doing, or what some communities want doing, mostly communities, so people don't bug me. And I get paid. Whenever they say dead, al dead or alive, I ignore the alive part. I you see. know, you get paid more for uh, what kind, what kind bringing of them in alive. Oh, let's sorry, Mr. Hasco. I was just saying, you get more money if you bring them in alive. I like the satisfaction more. It's much more fun to just bring them back as a corpse. Even then, if people really want to, if they're offering deals, they can always get the more religious people to uh, have them speak. Not my business. I see. Quick question. Yeah? What type of types are you, um, well, bringing in? It's open season for me. Well, let me rephrase. What type of types have you brought in before? Well, first, before I was getting actually good at this, I was sneaking around, making sure to just cause them the most pain possible before just driving in a knife. You know, have you ever stepped on a, uh, a rusty nail or two before? I... I... I try to avoid it if I can. Imagine 15 of those going into your foot at the same time, thinking that your doorway is all clear in the morning. That just sounds like a poorly constructed door. Yeah, but then as they're screaming in agony, trying to get all the rusty nails out, I just drive in the teeth or nail, and she's just giggling. Hmm. You sound like you would be perfect for setting traps around a house. Why? What you need? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> you sound an awful lot like someone who really, really wants people to be afraid of them, but is very much struggling to get that kind of real estate. Well, I am covered in mud from head to toe right now, and I don't even have anything interesting sticking off of me. Boy, this is going to just maybe give her a little bit of a lighter moon, just precipitation the mud off. <laughs> Whatever. What do you need? You seem like you're in a little bit of a rush. What do you need? Mm, we're just trying to get down south to Kulimi Ivans, but what did the drug stuff happening over here this uh, pretty much made us uh, just kind of stuck here, just wondering what to do next. Drugs? Which ones? There's like tons of them that people bring in day in and day out. Are they actually finally um, doing something about it? The guy told me what it was called, but Josh can't remember. What was the... Uh, name of it is like Shimra or something? Bless, I'm just gonna say it as DM. Uh, yeah. What was it called, sorry? Bless, I'm just gonna say it. Bless. Bless. Uh, Bless. Abby's going to say... Uh, it was called something along the lines of... Uh, I'm gonna do a quick look. Is that, are, we, are we relatively secluded? Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna say there's no one that you can see down the alleyway for the most part. The two guys went down another um, street into the woods. Something called Bliss. We're not particularly interested in purchasing it, or who's selling it, or why they're selling it. We're more so interested in why it's interrupting our travel plans. Oh. Just then the bridge, we show up. You are, sir. <laughs> no. Oh, uh, it's from Soral. Well, right there, criminal scum. It's from Soral. Of course, they got that. Finally going right. for the heavier stuff first. That makes sense. Uh, it's called the Amrita of the Night. You basically get, like, super, 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 super doped up on it. I just wonder why they're actually doing something about it for once. Did they finally get their poor, poor people all in the, in the up our office get actually involved for once? A little bit too much of an addiction. 
the way it dulls the senses so much you just feel elated all the time. You can see why it's a big deal. Addictive. Very, very fun. Ah. Uh, can imagine, yeah. So. Oh, isn't that interesting? Don't know why they closed off this port. This goes to Granny mostly. If they just wanted to stop it, it would probably be from Saral. I wonder if there would be a, a bounty on killing the dealers. If there is, I'm going to have to look into it. I'm going to go to the government place after I get some actual things. I've had nothing but worms and raw minnows for the past three days. I'm going to get something to eat. Boris oh. is not going to offer any of his frozen cheese dumplings to her at <laughs> frozen all. Frozen cheese dumplings. Thank you very much for your time. We greatly appreciate your insight on the matter. Mm. All right, there'll be one gold, please. Not a chance. I Although you... I would like a word with you. Fine, what is if it? You wouldn't mind. Gentlemen, do you mind if yes. you leave us for a moment? Uh, sure. Mm, no, I don't trust you. Cool. Yeah, you should. You very much shouldn't, but quick question. Do you trust her? No. Then why do you mind what happens? Well, that should just mean that I don't trust you together. Oh, no, believe me, this has nothing to do with either, any of you. At this point, if I fucked you over, you have access to my ship, and I would really not want anything bad happening to that. Oh, yeah, it is. It looks very flammable. Exactly. Well, well, we've already had that discussion multiple times. Yes. We know exactly where it is. Look, Borlez, I'm not saying trust me on this. I'm just saying I would like to have a word with our friend here. In oh, private, if that's okay. Oh. Uh, very well. Uh, you know what? Who mm. you be? I don't think I should. Abby's going to turn around and say, what do you think is of no consequence? We're having a word. What kind of word? Does it involve all being stabbed in the chest, or what? I'm not Guess going to kill you. If I wanted to do that, I would have done it already. Now shut up and listen for a moment. You guys, would you mind leaving us in peace? Boy, this is going to squat walk away then. <laughs> yeah. He's going to follow. Fine, fine. What is it? I just wanted to let you know that I find you sort of pathetic in a way. Mm. Look, I respect the whole, oh, I kill, I like killing, kill, 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 torture, torture, torture. That I can deal with. What I can't deal with is your ceaseless groveling to the government to find a way to do it legally. Do you understand how stupid that is? You understand, you understand how stupid how... rotting in a jail for 10 months is at a time? Oh, are you that incapable that you would get caught? I'm sorry, I didn't have realized this was amateur hour here. Look, dude. So you either grow some fucking cojones and commit some crimes like a real per like a real murderer. Stop trying to use the veneer of government and the veneer of law and the veneer of protection to make it feel like you're doing some kind of legitimate work and actually indulge in what you want to do for once. Do you understand how much more fear, how much more bloodshed you could sow if you actually did this properly, instead of acting like a fucking lapdog? I don't mind that you're a murderer. I hate that you're groveling. Now here's that gold for your time. Take it and do something worthwhile with it. And I'm gonna ping him a sovereign's coin. <laughs> she snags it and, and just tosses it away. No. I'm as the coin hits the floor. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn around and say, "You're my least favorite kind of person." You know why? Hmm. Let me guess. Is it because you actually don't want to do the same, but you end up doing it anyway? No, it's the opposite. It's because I do what I want. You do what you think you want to do. But you need to find another way for a person to tell you that it's okay. That's not freedom. Hmm. That's not indulging. That's slavery of extra steps. Hmm. All right. I'm gonna go. Um, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna throw one of these in there for good measure, just to see how it goes. This might ruin the whole thing, but. Oh, jeez. That'd just be a wisdom save, right? Um, well, no, it, well, it's whatever you want to kind of counter-roll with it. Okay. 
Okay, that's just 15. I'm sorry, I'm rolling with that. I'm just haven't opened the yeah. character sheet. Now she... pick up that coin and be on your way. He does. And just kind of shrugs off going back into the town itself. She's got the sovereign's coin. She does. In which case, I have to roll a straight charisma, I believe. Yep. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, jeez. I, mean, I don't know what this does, but oh, no. <laughs> and we're... Yeah. Sounds yeah, I bad. Just, I just closed your sheet. Hold on. And that was... Okay. Have fun. You know and what... in, her, in, in her head, as she's just kind of whispering, she just kind of yeah. hears, Would you like to live? Deliciously. <laughs> and Abby oh. just walks out of the alley with just a little bit of everything all of the time. Okay, gentlemen, shall we be on our way? But to where is the, it's the real question, because all we have left to guess is this north. Uh, let's get some food first. I could eat. I don't know about y'all. It's 9 a.m. and you've Hans, been eating tons of honey. direction north that you don't want to be in? Is it a singular location or a... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I'd like to stay away from the capital as much as I could, but anywhere else besides that should be uh, should be all right. And I think we have a plan: north, but away from the capital. We keep our heads low as much as we can. And um, gigs, my friend, don't worry. Yep. All I said was that I find her current career path reprehensible, and I think there should be an immediate change. Yeah, Real question. I going to roll insight to see if that's bullshit. You, you can roll an insight. That's what I said. <laughs> I'm the same with one. Sure. Do I even need to roll a deception? Um. Should I? Roll... Should I just? Should I just to say that I'm mincing my words? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll believe you this time, but only because you said you wouldn't lie to me, at least. Okay, exactly. I believe and, you. And, and I need you to notice genuinely, she is my least favorite type of person. What type I is she? See. She's a liar, is what she is. And, and not a, a liar, liar in the is your least type said. of favorite person? No, 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 no. I don't care if people lie to other people. Don't lie to yourself. I see. So, food? <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. That depends. Do you want to my computer or you want to see what we have around here? Let's see what oh. the town has to offer. Yeah, you always want to explore new cuisine, don't you, Borlitz? I think we should find something maybe a, a bit exotic on the palace. What do you say? We're not in town for much longer. True, 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 true. Maybe, if you find a new recipe you might like, we can pick up some ingredients in the market before we leave. That is also true. I can probably write it down later on as uh, Borlitz pulls out, like, basically three uh, blank books, basically. <laughs> maybe one day I can use it for a cookbook. Oh, yeah, that would be lovely. This is a kind of like a spell book, but for um, <laughs> the chef, you know. the chef subclass of wizard. Oh no! Yeah, exactly. No, it's more so like of the gastronomicon. <laughs> the gastronomicon, the omnomnomicon. Gastronomicon is the name of my book. <laughs> no, it's more so going to be for just putting ideas in for various hobbies that they have. Okay, fantastic. Well, you enjoy that. And I got three of these things. Maybe I, won't, maybe I won't need one of them later on. Just throwing it out there. Okay. I'm going to have you, just one of you, roll for a d20. Who would want to search for the best food? Like, I, I could also have you roll. I, was gonna say, I think everyone should roll a d20 and see what everyone comes up with. Okay, yeah, actually. I yeah. roll a d20. I want to uh, see who can come up with the best food. I Eight. Find a kebab house. <laughs> <laughs> he goes to uh, Nando's. Okay, 13, Nando's. Eight, 12... Yeah, what was it? Investigation? Just, Just normal D20. D20. Oh, re D20. Yeah. Uh, Four. I found the Nando's, guys! <laughs> I love it here! 
<laughs> what? Honestly, I thought you found a Del Taco. <laughs> no, it's like it's like a well, it's like a chain, but the food's really good. Trust me, you got to try it. It's got like a it's like chicken, but they have like um like corn on the cob, and it's really good. It's, <laughs> I'm going to uh, go through just the normal sort of, just from found the Taco Bell in Paris situation. <laughs> yeah, so you're going back from, to the general old town square area, and Abby, you're just kind of humming to yourself, just uh, smiling joyfully that maybe someone will be experiencing a new pathway soon. And you just kind oh, that of that bitch is gonna murder a lot more people. <laughs> <laughs> you just kind of stop and you stare down one of the buildings, and you see just a bunch of just uh, like people just kind of sitting at what looks to be a in ground just fire pit, but like raised a little bit, and you see just a sign just crudely made where it's like uh, grilled sausages, and that's it. <laughs> Guys, look, I found a great <laughs> hole in the ground where we can cook some meat. <laughs> literally, it's it's literally like a garbage fire. This is great. We should eat here. Mm, thinking something All this, you bought sausages. You could, you could be like a BYOB situation. <laughs> Bring your own barbecue? Exactly. <laughs> like a BOS or BOYS. The boys. <laughs> Bring our boy, it could be a boy. <laughs> bring our yummy sausage. Bring your <laughs> yummy oh, I love sausage. It. I, I do love it when the boys bring their own sausage. It is always much better time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what are the other ones that everyone found? Four less across from it. You actually see a decent thing, like a sort of bakery, but there's not like a lot of bread. It's just a couple of things, and they're offering out sandwiches just from whatever things. Like there's meat and cheese and just whatever bread that they put it on. It's not fancy, but it's at least trustworthy looking enough. Mm, I don't know. Maybe that bakery over there might be a little bit more uh, sanitary. <laughs> Gix, on the other hand... I would have said edible. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Gix, on the other hand, you see what looks to be a little stall and someone's cranking a sort of machine and you see fruit go in like there's no bananas or anything you see oranges pineapples and strawberries and stuff go in and it just comes out in a very like clean liquid very smooth it's it says smoothies on it and they're offering up some other like minor things to have with them like little bits of meat in here and there I was about to say, what's that one guy? What's that one juicing guy from like the the two thousand or like uh, the nineteen nineties? Has like the those weird ass like eyebrows. <laughs> oh my gosh! I forget what it's called. It's like the Juice King or something. Anyway, and Mister Hands, you kind of see a uh, a house, like a normal looking house for once. It actually is made of wood. There's not a lot of wooden houses out here, and. It has a stall out front, and you smell <clears throat> a very rich honey scent from earlier, and you see someone just glazing meat and just putting it into a giant oven. And then they're just, like, shaving it and putting it just on a plate, just for people to have. And it says, pulled honeyed meat. Oh, fellas, I think you're gonna like this. Check out this place over here. Ooh. It does look good, but this place over here... It squashes oranges and it deprives them <laughs> of their life essence. Question. Uh, I think you need to... Question. Yes. Could we, in theory, eh? get our food from that one and our drinks from that one? <gasps> That's the best cool? thing you've said all day. Yeah. All week so. and all month. Wait. I can't imagine again. this is what the juice guy looks like. <laughs> the juice guy has a giant handlebar mustache. It curls like three times in a row. Now look at the text chat. This is what I think it looks like. You could swing off of that thing. <laughs> the giant eyebrows. It's a juice guy. It's a juice weasel. It's the juice weasel. Oh my gosh. Amazing. Anyway. What's Everyone the... knows what I just sent. This is basically what I sent to her. <laughs> the juice loser. <laughs> the juice guy. Okay. Plans. What are the plans for food? I'm going to go to the... Uh... The spot that I found was the honey meat. The honey glazed pulled meat. I'll go with Mr. Hands. 
Okay. Mm, let's try the meat. I'll go over and get some uh, some drinks for all of us, and then head over to the meat afterwards. Okay. I'm gonna say you're, you're gonna get the food first because more of you are going there. Ah, I see. Okay. So. So as you go over, you see this one guy, like a big half orc. He's just shredding just piles of just pork. And you can tell it's actually pork. There's actual like smell of pork to there's it. There's a snout in there. <laughs> no, there's no snout in there. This is actual meat. He's having a decent line right now. And you see what looks like a giant slab in the oven each time, and you just have him handling everything. It's like, all right, you want uh, uh, to the sandwich? Okay, you got that. You want the plate with the rice? Okay, you got that. Uh, and it's finally your go if you're up in line. It's like, all right, what you want? Uh, I'll just take a plate of uh, your meat, please. All right. And... He opens the oven and there's the smell wafts out towards you and it smells just of rich, very delicious smelling pork, just glazed and amazing. And he gets a large knife and just gets this giant slab of crisp glazed pork and hands it to you on a plate. Like this is enough oh. to feed three people. Alright, thank you sir. How much for it? All right, it'll be three silver for the plate. All right, here you go. All right. Just for the plate. The meat alone is going to Yeah, I was going to say, how much for the pork? <laughs> <laughs> it's just that, three silver. All right, you two, what you want? I don't oh. think whatever the, today's special is. Let's see what kind of concoctions you've made up. <laughs> All right, and he brings up what looks to be mustard. You know mustard, and he just layers a nice drizzle on it, but he also gets a very nice mixed rice with beans, and he just hands you a bowl with the plate of meat and just the mustard drizzled all over the meat. Alright. Five gold. Uh, no, five gold. Five silver, sorry. Five silver, dude? Five silver, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll huck down a gold piece and just wait for change, I guess. <laughs> okay. He hands you your change very, very quickly. He's easily trying to move. He's just checking on the pork every now and then. You, sir, what do you need? Hello, Abby. Uh, Abby. What do you have in the way of portable food? That is portable food. Like, preferably, you know, something contained in, like, a wrap or something along those lines. I, I can eat on the move. Yeah, I can do sandwiches if you want that. Toasted buns? Oh, yeah. So sounds good. Sounds perfect. Thank you. All right. He opens up the uh, little old, like, area, and he just slaps down two slices of bread, like, bun, and he just hands it to you and puts a giant mountain of pork and just places it on. Alright. Two silver. Okay, fantastic. I'm gonna pass him to two silver and uh, zip out the way. Okay. And over at the smoothie stand with Gix, the guy turns towards you. Hello, what would you like? Uh, four smoothies, please. Four smoothies? Any specific kind or just mixed? Next, but with a little extra orange in one of them. Okay. And you see him just toss in very nice cut fruits, and he starts cranking the handle to the bladed machine, and out pours a very nice smoothie. I'm going to just grab a picture because I want to. Smoothie mixed. Just very nice orange purplish smoothie with nice chunks of fruits, and yours has a little bit of extra orange to it. All right. For that, I would like one silver each, so four, please. You got it. RP, pay money. RP, pay money. Pay money, get smoothie. All right, you all have your food. Money for smoothie pay. Hmm? Money for smoothie pay. <laughs> yes. And he just smiles, you see his mustache kind of like flinch up as he gets back to just cutting fruit. Yep. Anyway. So are you all going to go meet up, or are you just time pass this sort of deal? Yeah, Kix is at least going to head in that direction while trying to 
juggle four smoothies at once. Yeah, he kind of gives them to you in just wooden cups, so you can just easily just toss them ah. out. Nice. He puts it in your open hands. No cup. <laughs> <laughs> just Mr. Hands. Going all Hiss. natural, the druid way. I would use, like, a gourd bowl for druids. Anyway. Time passes, I guess. And I'll just say, it's like, you all have a nice brunch, because it was like 9am, still 10ish. And it's around noon now, as you're all ready, and Bolts is just kind of staying in Gix's room, just to say, it's like, as you get back, you just have the sudden realization, wait a moment, you will have the child on board, and he's just kind of sitting down, just like, doing just his own thing, just like, playing with just imagination, just like, okay, it's going to be like this and this. Uh. The thing is, did you order food for Gix? No. <laughs> no. G Gix was. I was planning on having Gix heading over and then ordering place time afterwards. Oh. Gix can eat off of, off of my plate because I got enough servings for three, right? Yeah, you got this giant ah. just hawk of ham, basically. Yeah, I'll, I'll share with Gix. Don't worry. Gosh, I'm like a honey roasted ham. Ah, Honey roasted ham. Here you go, my little lizard friend. Enjoy. This is one of those things of like, here's a little bit of food, you eat the whole plate instead. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Yes. So, what shall you all do now? Hmm. I'm going to enjoy my food. Well, just in general. I imagine we're, I say, I imagine we're all eating at like a, a small table on deck or something. Yeah. Like, there's not much, but you kind of just use the edge because you're big enough to put your plates and everything. Yeah. Um, whilst everyone's eating, obviously I ordered kind of a smaller one. I'm, I'm going to try and finish before everyone else. Okay. Yeah, you easily do. Like, everyone's having giant plates of food while you're just having a quick little bite. Yeah. Um, but excuse me one moment, everyone. I'm just going to go uh, I'll find somewhere to piss very quickly. I won't be long. <laughs> Mm, prompt um, and and I'm gonna go. Long. I'm gonna go to the boat upgrade shop. Um. Well, what are you trying to do? Can, like specifically, I'm. If, I want to see if I can find my my the boat upgrade friend. Um, oh I'm, no, that I... that's that's up in the middle of the continent. You're down by the coast. Like he specifically flew upwards. Oh, right, 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 right. I thought he was accessible from here. Yeah, that's, one, that's no. one of the options. I right mean, you can now. always well, actually, fine, fine. I'm going to go back. Is, is Martin around at all, or is he still out and gone? With how it works, you basically just tap a little button on the side, and he'll just come, and you can just give him a letter, and he'll just ship it if it's around. Yeah, I'm going to try and get in contact with him. Okay, what will you write? Um, I'm going to write... Uh, what was his name again? Scudders. Dearest Scudders, I hope this letter finds you well. Um, I've done a bit of thinking, and I'd like to take you up on your very generous offer to uh, potentially look at some upgrades for the ship. The first port of call I would like to have. I mentioned aerial bombardments, but um, I'd like to scrap that. I think the best thing I can do as of right now is upgrade the sleeping quarters of the other crew members, and potentially looking at getting a kitchen installed. Uh, how much would that run me? Because I don't want to push your generous offer of my first upgrade being free too far. Yours sincerely, Captain Abbey. P.S. Have you tried putting polish on your pincers? I think it would really make them <laughs> pop. <laughs> P.P.S. I know this because I do it with my horns. Oh my god! I'm gonna send it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Martin comes by, he, he just points the tube and just looks up at you. You know the drill, Martin. You are a gem. <laughs> I'm gonna put, my, put it in there. Oh, was there? Is, is there any like clove shops like anywhere around here? Um, not that you've seen. Like you've seen no like de designated clothing area. Why, Martin? I promise you, the next time I find a tailor, I am going to get you a cool little hat. Oh my god. <laughs> Martin, would would you right? I, I know you can't talk, but you seem to uh, you know understand what I'm saying at the very least. Is that correct? <laughs> he just kind of screeches at you. Yeah, perfect. Uh, screech once for a little hat. Screech twice for a little jacket. Which would you prefer? Roll animal handling. I'm curious what happens. 
I rolled really well on Adam handling the Martin first game. I really. <laughs> you need to do it again. I'm curious. I know. I know. I'm just saying. I really hope. I fucking love Martin. <laughs> Martin is good. Oh, okay. No. He screeches Martin. once. He wants the little hat. The jacket okay. might be pushing it a bit. Fantastic. I will get you that hat. Okay. <laughs> now, you you delivered that letter post haste. I really appreciate that. Thank you, Martin. Love you. <laughs> All right. He takes flight and he's <laughs> off. <laughs> I Love I need guy. to I need to type you something quick. He is Abby on his own. He is without a doubt the most valuable member of this crew. <laughs> and I'm gonna go back to the barbecue pit and yeah. Just to send you that real quick, just so you know. Yeah, perfect. Okay, good. Okay. Love that guy. Love that guy. <laughs> Abby has a new best friend. <laughs> Friendship with Mr. Hands is over. Now Martin is my new best friend. <laughs> That's why I'm getting him the hat. I'm replacing with the hat. <laughs> oh, no. Now, here's the thing. I Ooh. love the idea that Bulls just considers the person with the fanciest hat as the leader. I like yeah. to think Martin is, like, suddenly the second mate because Bolts thinks what? he is. I'm gonna... I, well, I, don't, even want, I don't even like Bolts. <laughs> I mean, he's not doing you, anything I'm, wrong. I'm gonna try... I want to get him a little tricorn hat. <laughs> Just I'm gonna make him first mate, Rear Admiral, Super Super <laughs> Lieutenant Martin. <laughs> Here's what I was thinking. It turns like a wool hat. Okay, I'm curious. What does it look like? <laughs> Are you? <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> this is a little hat, a little cowboy hat. If anyone's wondering, it's basically a peacock with a ten gallon hat. I love it. I love it. I love peacocks. <laughs> anyway, if anyone's going to. Do anything i can just do a little skip nappy gets his letter um... yeah uh, i mean I'm, I'm done for the night you're done yeah. you're done for the night well uh, abby is okay basically I'm gonna return, return to the food yeah basically like two hours later you get your letter from scudders it seems kind of crumpled because you know claw on the middle finger area uh, he's not, not the most dexterous of men <laughs> But he can use tools fairly well. Like, anything that's fine motor skills for, like, pencils and stuff, he seems he can at least write, but it's not perfect. Anyway, it's as... Okay, so, I can send you this. I will do the kitchen for free. It just depends if you want a full galley or a little canteen. Canteen is basically one half of the little free area, while a full galley would be the big area entirely. In case if you want to have an armory or something, or some other sleeping quarters, or some other things, you could put it there. You can get a smaller one. Basically, the canteen would have a potbelly stove, some storage, and some extra areas for seating. But it does say that if you want, he can have someone, since it's a decent trading hub between the uh, Pasadian area for the entrance and the rest of the uh, Greater Moss Plateau... He can probably find someone who can sell him furniture for fairly cheap. Just depends on what you want. Like beds and such would be decent. Or Thank you, you just so put... much for bringing this, Martin. I really appreciate that. Honestly, did like Abby come up with the hat and just like like here you go, here's your little hat. <laughs> There's no hat. We, we, we haven't got the hat yet. We need to buy the hat. But uh, okay, Abby's gonna look at this and go. Okay, fantastic. Um. Dear Scutters, thank you so much for getting back to me so quickly. I really appreciate that. By the way, this is Martin. He's, he's the <laughs> newest member of our crew. He's really excellent. I'm looking to buy him a little hat. Um, really appreciate your generosity on your offer. I, I think we will take the, um, the, 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 not the, the, the larger of the kitchens just to make sure we have a uh, ample room for cooking and social eating, as well as the fact that it will cause my crew to hopefully not try and set as many fires on my ship. Um, in regards no to upgrading the rooms, no um, how much would we be kind of looking at per room? Much appreciated. Kisses, Abby. <laughs> Kisses. Do you know anyone who might make tiny hats? PPS. It's for Martin, not for me. <laughs> PPPS. <laughs> Although okay. two little tiny hats for my horns would be quite fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you this. Someone PPS made me... S. Maybe a third one. Someone made me fan art for my for model. Else. 
and it is probably my favorite thing. They gave me two little Santa hats for my ears. <laughs> and it's just so funny. Yeah, that, but we, I, I want to get Martin a little hat, <laughs> and then maybe two little hats to go on the end of my... Okay, so Martin goes off. I'm just going to say it's like afternoon by now. If there's still nothing else going on, I'm just going to assume you are kind of just faffing about. Love that guy. Yeah, Martin is very good. He comes back an hour this time. You like, are extraordinarily fucking quick, Martin. You know that. And you notice that the letter seems a bit more finely written, and it says, instead of from Scudder's, and it says, in very neat cursive, this is Pearl's Mice, one of Scudder's crewmates, and an expert in the hangar for driving. He did say while he was working on my ship for a little while that upgrading them would probably cost around 20 gold each for the bare basics. If you want something else included, I've got a couple bits of furniture from a friend. Also, TikTok and Clock might make a little hat if you tell them to, if you visit. Um, replies back. Thank you very much. Um, I think that all sounds good. We'll make the necessary arrangements when we next meet in person. Very much looking forward to that. Abby. P.S. Hopefully should be in a few days. P.P.S. Hopefully far away from the capital. Mr. Han seems quite uncomfortable about going there. P.P.P.S. Not sure about Martin's thoughts on the capital, but um, if he's comfortable going there, quite frankly, that overweighs most of the other crew members. P.P.P.S. <laughs> what do you think of Martin? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so you're just sending that? <laughs> it's like, I'm just imagining, like, girls texting after 9pm when the free minutes happen. Yep. P -p 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 yes. Actually, don't respond to that last question. I don't want to tire Martin out making him fly back and forth. <laughs> we'll see you when we next see you and arrange the kitchen and the quarters. Okay. Mm. Anyway, I assume that I'll be hit. <laughs> so Martin flies off for the last time for the day. Oh my gosh, I can't believe Are Abby's- you get some rest when you deliver that, Martin? I can't- Get some sleep. I can't believe Abby's best friend is a bird right now that's just messaging for him. You look at his goddamn cell phone. Guys, guys. From, the, the, honestly, from middle school. <laughs> this whole bird delivery system for messages is brilliant. I think I'm going to start my own one. And, um... If Martin has children, they will be the fastest delivery <laughs> birds in the world. And you could almost use it as like um, a substitute for conversation. Bird-based talking. I'm going to call it Twitter. What do you think? <laughs> that sounds absolutely horrendous. I have a strong feeling that it will just be full of very, very angry people with very bad and misinformed information. And, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Speak yeah. Follow very me highly on Twitter, please. You, no, you gigs ones give you those kind of opinions. You don't no, want to, you're not allowed to use Twitter anymore. You're cancelled from using Twitter. <laughs> oh, no, I'm Twitter cancelled. It was before it was even invented. That's how bad Gix is. Now we've been talking about in fantasy too. Oh no. I mean, be glad that most of the races in my world is only in like one small tiny area in the Underdark. Mm, yeah, anyway, yeah, that, that, that's definitely that all done. <laughs> okay, anyone else have anything before, like going on with the bird texting? Um, if we're no, all no. done eating, Borov is actually going down in the ship and he's going to use one of his uh, notebooks to actually start drawing schematics okay. of the ship. Um, what would I have you roll for that? Like, how uh, decent you'd be? Because Probably be a couple, though, maybe like... Uh, like, I guess sleight of hands for designing it, uh, maybe, like, uh, other stuff like investigation or stuff like that, I don't know. Um, general investigation, because you did look around the ship, and sleight of hand to see how well you do it. There are also certain rooms you can't like... go in, just as a heads up. Yeah, like... It was, like, the ones that he just could walk around, like, basically. Like, yeah. Nothing, like... Nothing trying to like break into like and and enter or anything like that. Just what he could get access to. I assume he has access to the big empty area right now in the general bedrooms, right? He has access to his own bedroom, the general empty area. He doesn't have access to like the engine room or anything like that, as well as my bedroom. He does have access to like all of the upstairs parts, of course, though. Yeah, so the only thing he did notice, like, when he was investigating, was that there were uh, a couple small boxes with basically controls for the rudders, but not controls for the engine. 
Like, the engine is specifically connected to your room. So, he only knows about the rudders and stuff. So, for all he knows, like, the engine is a complete mystery. Oh. Yeah, from what you kind of get, you kind of think, like, okay, how would this work? How would this work in your mind? You're drawing up kind of a couple few ones. You're writing down a few decent ideas from what you think. You're not used to big airships like this. You've probably only seen a couple small little... Personal hot air balloons they would use for little festivals, like tossing up the candles and the stuff into the sky or putting them on rivers. But other than that, you're you're coming up with some decent stuff with your lizard brain, with your brain and tuners. Our free file. <laughs> yeah, in terms of what he's thinking, he's thinking of like something that would be more fast, maybe something more firepower, just kind of like something that could be like assembled and disassembled pretty easily onto the ship in case like emergency shit ha has to occur. <laughs> Would you or... know enough about airship design to... He's an artificer. He's, he's going by what he's thinking right now. He doesn't know, like, the, the full schematics and stuff like that. This is a this fucking nice idea He'll mode He'll figure right it now. out. Yeah. Yeah. The this is just, with I, this is ideas. Yeah. I'm it's letting ideas. him just trial and error. Fancy. Yeah. Because you are going to go to Abby and the Scudder's guy when you go there to actually go over, hey, does this make sense? Yeah, 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 pretty much. <laughs> Is it not thinking, okay, doing this now, and then like five minutes later, start banging on the ship and see if it works. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Mr. Hands and Gex, what are you two up to? Uh, I think I'm still on the uh, the deck of the ship, mm -hmm. hanging out with my uh, with my honey here, and uh, does she have a name? Uh, Mr. Hands <laughs> is gonna do what he did last time after he he's. Feeling overcome with a, a sudden urge, and he's gonna dip his fingers in the honey, and then do the same monkey point as he did before. This time with his finger covered in honey to see if it attracts anything. Family guy monkey point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say roll animal handling with advantage. Alrighty. Now Martin does switch now. Takes his finger. Takes <laughs> <laughs> the finger. <laughs> Nat twenty. Let's go. Mr. Hands, describe <laughs> what happens. Monkey magic. Um, I, I, well, oh, I didn't think I'd, I'd get this much creative freedom. You do? Uh, it's your it. thing? As, that, that's true, that's true. As he's holding up the, the finger, I would say one by one from wherever the ship is ported, whether it's from the city or from the surrounding environments, uh, bees start to appear and stand and start to uh, i guess collect themselves on mr hand's fingers not a not a whole lot but i would say at least a dozen or two bees just start to to land on the honey finger and then spread around his hands making a sort of a bee glove of of some sort <laughs> i think i know what you're going twiddle, twiddle his fingers and say oh that's very interesting your hands now do one plus b damage <laughs> <laughs> not the bees. This handful <laughs> of bees are the put a stop okay. to that. Then I'm not kidding. I'm gonna put honey on his hat and transfer the bees to hang out on his hat before putting it back on his <laughs> he puts head. Puts the bees under his hat. So do you well, want to say what's hat, going on? I can uh, guess this immediately. Yep. Well, uh, yeah, sure. No, it's uh, Mr. Hans's new ranger archetype. He is uh, becoming the swarm keeper. I have yep. the bee swarms. I Fucking have to new. say, I did not expect Mr. Hands to summon bees. <laughs> not, <laughs> not, on, not on my list of expected powers for Mr. Hands to have. <laughs> yeah. The bees, I'm like, okay, I think I know what this fucking going Now, for. here's a random question. Would it be cool to go monk and you just, instead of key in powered strikes, it's bee in powered strikes and they just all point their stingers outwards and you punch something? Now, this is when Abby holds out his hand and uh, he turns into a squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> no, that that yeah, swarm keeper. I thought you were going gleam stalker. Yeah, we all thought that. He was, but then he oh, came out to me. And it's like, hey, that dream is awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had an epiphany and realized the next logical step in the criminal orangutan's story <laughs> is. Bees. bees. I'm just yeah, imagining no. not the bees, not the bees. As he tortures someone. <laughs> Uh oh, oh fucking hell. I just unplugged my headset. There may be an echo. Oh, that's oh, no. okay. Hang on, hang on. 
Oh, the fact that even now, Mr. Hands can also do fairy fire. So everyone can do fucking fairy fire. Yeah, all of you can do fairy fire, which is funny. Also, Mr. Hands now has a ma mage hand made of bees. <laughs> yeah, that is amazing. Bee hand. Well, bee hand. Mr. Hands, um, you've made some friends there. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Looks like they'll come in handy. Question, uh -huh. you're, you're craving for honey early. You're not turning into a bee, are you? <laughs> uh, not that I'm aware of. You suddenly see in like six different locations at once. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hans just starts flying off the ground with little wings. <laughs> how, how, how long has this been a thing you can do? Um, just now, I suppose. I had a <laughs> weird dream a few days ago and uh, just had a hunch since. A bee-related dream? A bee-related dream. A beam. That's crazy. <laughs> dream. I'm sorry, I'm just genuinely shocked. I, did th I didn't take you for a bee guy being up front with you. I have to imagine oh. after uh, a little bit more of this walks up from the ship <clears throat> with his uh, book in hand, just like doing some small little notes, and this like, what in the... Mr. Hands, what in the world is going on here? <laughs> uh, he's, he, he controls bees now. Come uh, on, get with it, ballers. Well, sorry, I just got you. <laughs> I mean, it seems like every Mr. Hands is probably the most confused of everyone about what's going on. He said they came into it to him in a prophetic bee-related dream, and since then he was craving honey and summoned the bees. It seems so. Ah. It seems strange that okay. he wanted his uh, pot of honey that badly. <laughs> but hey. Do you know how to control bees, it seems? Show us, show us a little bit off. Show us what you can do. Oh, Beatrix. He said he was having mic issues. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Well, in the meantime, is Gix up to? Uh, he is improving on his drawing skills. <laughs> okay, roll sleight of hand. Trying... I'm curious. <laughs> Just uh, then, Dick starts sprouting sure mushrooms all over himself. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. You thought you may as well just use your subjects on hand, so you kind of take Bananicus, and you do draw a fairly well-detailed, like, you're getting the shading pretty good on him, like, as you look at the light reflect on the very nice banana skin. And you're just having a decent time learning drawing and such, just by looking and watching and just getting a general feel of things. It is beautiful. The Bananga. I still love how the Bananga exists. The Bananga. Hey, you know what you need to do now? You need to start drawing the fucking Bananga. The, the, the Please bananga. do! I'm not kidding. <laughs> We don't really care how bad oh, that's going to be amazing. Please, yes. please be bad and please be in like crayon like drawing <laughs> or textures. <laughs> I will probably. So yeah, I had to keep the swarm keeper thing secret for like two weeks. Fucking hell! I I because I remember me and Jack were like discussing like what 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 subclass he was thinking of going. We we're trying to make it like thematically work with Mister Hands. I didn't think that, that dream would right. do that. We we initially talked about potentially going Swarm Keeper, but having him control the smoke instead of like insects. Oh wait, oh. that actually works because bees and smoke. That's how they harvest the honey. That actually works. Yeah. Yeah. That but, but I, I do find it quite funny that it's. I, I mean, obviously, it's just like it's just like that. Nah, bees, fuck that. But yeah, yeah, fun fact about bees: when they get smoky, they eat the, all the honey to try to bring that out of the hive. That's why they always look so sleepy because they're drunk on honey. <laughs> That's actually completely false. How? Because the reason that they work, they um, act sleepy, is actually because the smoke cuts off their pheromone signals from each other. They, it's not that they're being choked out or thinking they have to evacuate. It's that they physically cannot communicate with each other, and as a hive setting, that completely disorientates them. Huh. Nerd. But actually, I learned that from a beekeeper, so there's that. Fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a biologist, Wait. so. Ah. <laughs> that's, just, that's just an Abby lie. No, that's genuinely, I did, that's what I did at university. Anyway. Uh, last thing I Evolution, Evolutionary biology, to be exact. For, uh, for, for bee magic, or bee tricks. 
Monk monk bee magic. <laughs> for some monkey magic, I'm gonna cast a mage hand and summon the hand of bees. Hand <laughs> of bees. Not the bees. A, a thumbs up on the ship deck. That is very yeah. odd. Strange how, then again, it's not as strange as banana right there, but still. <laughs> Oh, I've seen banana. stranger things, boys. Stranger things. <laughs> I mean, you've seen that Paul's banana. Just up, Hello. <laughs> oh <laughs> fuck! I forgot oh. you were here. I I'm bought. always here. What have you been up to? Oh, I'm just sitting. I was bored. Uh, I heard you back. Yeah. Shouldn't you be reading the book of Banana Kiss or something, studying up on your religion? He has it. Well, I was, but then I sent uh, some. Disturbance in the force of beasts, <laughs> which we all know that druids are connected to. So we're leaving the kid here, right? When we leave? No, he's coming with oh. us. <laughs> and oh. I've already sort of become his legal guardian, so... Uh... Wait, 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 what? Yeah. <laughs> this is the well, first time I actually been hearing you. Oh my gosh, hey. Right. Okay, sorry. Oh. I've got the mute, sorry. I thought... I thought we all agreed that uh, I didn't get to throw him off deck, but that we were going to leave him here. When when did the plan change, Gix? Uh, well, I went to town hall, and I well, first I talked to some people about it, and then uh, one thing led to another, and now I guess uh, we have a humunculus child following us around. I'm Hello? splendid. <laughs> All right. Wow. Did I cut out? No, you, you didn't. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, you're fine. I, I'm, I, my disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. I'll help whenever. Oh. You got excited by bees, it seems. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the bees were so cool, and then you ruined it with this thing. Thing? Bolt's just another thing. He's a precious little creature. <laughs> About the same size as you just covered in spikes. Yeah, no. Bolt's and is he can just... make sparks, and sparks can make fire. So... I will not cast it on the ship. I was told not to. Exactly. See? He's house-drained. <laughs> yes, great, but I still don't like him. I don't like children. I don't trust them. I'm not a child. Oh. Well... I don't trust you when you're still here. <laughs> Ooh. I don't like children. At all. No exceptions. I really... I don't like children. And I don't want them on my ship. Oh, so are you even technically a child? I am nearly 50 years old. See, age doesn't no no. Don't try and pull that shit because age doesn't matter because it's relative to species. A lot of elves and dwarves don't technically come of age until they're encroaching on what some creatures would die at. It's a state of mind. I don't like children. This is no quippy irony here. I don't like them. Ah. Well, what do we then do with bolts? I mean. I'm sort of already his uh, legal guardian and everything. Oh my gosh. Right. Gix adopted the puppy Look, and just wanted to bring you him home. I have a bond with this child. <laughs> How about when we. Look, I was going to make this a surprise, but I've scheduled in a visit with Scutters to get some upgrades done to the ship. Oh. I think Ooh. they might be a suitable place for Bolts to maybe make a home for himself. They what understand kind of machinery, opinions? they understand mechanics, and, well, Bolts is still young and looking for potentially new skills to learn, and maybe with his electrical powers and his inherent understanding of what a machine is, he might find a place for himself there. They seem like nice enough people. Bolts, do you want to follow us or do you want to build flying boats? Mm, boats are nice. There you go. Boats are nice. Boats it is simple. Then. Boats is boats. Obviously. Look, it rolls off the tongue. Perfect. <laughs> they grow up so fast. They only want to move out of house. If you are going to do the visit, when I need to know. 
Like, when are you going to visit the Scudder's place? Well, we're heading up north next, aren't we? I was thinking we could stop off. Okay. Do you want to do that now? Because I've got a little ten-minute thing I want to do. Look, bottom line is gigs. Even my dislike of children aside, is within our company a safe place for a child to be anyway? Uh, Look so well towards the swarm of bees. I mean, the first child we met, we literally ended up murdering, so... <laughs> Wait, we did? Yeah. Oh, no, we didn't kill those kids. No. The first child we met was that one we bumped into in the swamp who tried to feed us to a barracuda man. I thought that was a bear. Uh, no, no. Logic. That was a bear. Yeah, the bear. The bear. And then we met another one who wouldn't stop talking about her mum's leg being eaten, and then we found this one. My point is, our collective group funny, experience though. with children hasn't been great. My personal experience with children is not great. And, yeah... Whether, whether, we cut, we cut over to a random part of the world and just face for him. I said, we cut off to a random piece of the, the world and just tap like a miniature Abby face on a baby. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> like you see, this is the mustache and the goatee still, like on the seven-year-old teeth. Like I um, missed, I miss dad. <laughs> look, I, I don't. I'm not going into my childhood. That's not a. Uh, 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 of no one's business. <clears throat> but we're not having children on the ship. That is a hard rule of mine. No okay. children on the ship. I have my reasons, and I need you to respect them. It is your children. Uh, ship, after all. Very well. We'll drop him off at the shipbuilding, you know, Facility, and then uh, I'll miss him. But yes, yes. Oh my gosh, Gix has That's to give up his right. child. Yes, he just obtained I'll child. Never and now he has... No, he got rid I'll of his never son. forget the the many many experiences we've shared. Cuts to a montage of like Gix teaching him to ride a bike and like, <laughs> pushing him on a swing, and like, wouldn't it be nice? <laughs> But in reality, it's only this the day he like he met him for like half a second, and then fucking. I mean, you got to kill a giant him. cow together, so. Mm. It's, a, yeah, it's, it's that, that uh, TFF uh, or Team Four Star thing of the the future trunks bullshit. Okay. I, I, and now, I would say, the end is all gone. <laughs> and I, I think Yang Yang may agree on this with with Abby's yep. and like. Saying no children on the ship, hard and fast rule, it may be worth rolling an insight on that. Ooh. Ooh. Do it, actually. I want to see what happens. You want to show one? Oh, insight. Oh, dear. Um, well, dun, dun, Gix dun. can't really tell much, but. <laughs> I like how this started with Gix you seeing through watch. yourself, but now it's just every single roll afterwards. It's like Gix is no, Gix is uh, no, Gix is no. Ball is, this is <laughs> without a doubt the most sincere you've seen Abby be about anything. This isn't like a joke or a children of bears or a just, you know, people who don't like children type thing. He doesn't like children, but that's kind of to be expected. This no children on the ship thing seems very, very, very important to Abby. Almost more important than you not meddling with the ship. If if, if Borlas had eyebrows, he would have raised one of them. True. He raises one of his two eyelids. No, he just has like a little chalk drawing or a little chalk or charcoal piece. He just puts like one above his eye. It looks like he's like, hmm? <laughs> picks up picks our face. But yeah, no, no, no children on the ship seems to be very, very important to Abby. Hmm. Anyway. <laughs> yes. Okay. You all... I, will say, I will not say a word about this. This is all in gigs. <laughs> okay, we got an important question. So we are allowed to light a fire as long as it makes children stay away from the ship? <laughs> Do not fucking burn that. Holy shit, why are all of you like this? 
It's all loopholes with all of you all the time. <laughs> anyway, I think we should end it there. I gotta cook dinner. And next time we're oh. going to have a very fun surprise because I had to re replace some writing stuff. And it's like, okay, I'll move that there and just do some other things. Like, it was just general vicinity of some areas. And I'm just like, okay, wait. I didn't flesh out some things. So next time will be a fun surprise. By the way, I uh, might have drawn uh, Bananicus for the uh, Bananga. Oh my gosh, did you? Show it. Show it. Yeah. Show, it. Yes. show it. Show it. Show it. Where are you going to show it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I need to see the banana. Give, 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 give me, give me, give me, give me a moment. Gonna, gonna export it to a PNG. There we go. Okay. Uh, where is it? There it is. It's so it sad. Is. We're gonna lose our, We're gonna lose the sun yes. for the banana. <laughs> yeah, banana. I'm. I'm gonna play on Leechro yes. the Bronze's channel in like half an hour or so after I eat dinner. So I will be doing that. There you go. Oh yeah. my god! I love the Trogdor arm. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Is that Trogdor the Bananator? <laughs> Trogdor the Bananator! Oh my god. <laughs> Trogdor the Bananator. Oh, no. Love it, I love it. Okay. Oh, you've already posted the link. Nice. Yeah, I did. I had to. The Trogdor the Bananator is just so good. <laughs> Trogdor! <laughs> anyway. Ball yes. Hat now has some weird information about Abby. <laughs> Where he doesn't want kids, period. Hmm. And once, and once, and both the Blizzards are saddened with their own specific ways. Yeah. It's, why is it always family while you're both sad? Like, I don't know, Yang. Why do you bully me on saying, no, you can't stop the Abby. You can't do nothing. I'm Fuck sorry. You. It was plot thing, and I actually didn't realize, wait a moment, that's how the birds work? I completely forgot how things work in my world. Like, fuck. So yeah, we're right. gonna end the session with the two lizards very sad, the monkey extremely happy with his new bee friends, and Abby just being yeah. very sincere for a moment. With, with a tiny bird hat on the way. Yes, a potential tiny bird hat. Martin is the only person I can trust on this goddamn <laughs> ship. <laughs> I mean, what about Mr. Hands? Mr. Hands is his new bee friends. He doesn't need us to bring out with the bees now. No. About the bees. I like to imagine just you open his room and it's just suddenly like filled to the room with honeycomb someday. Yeah. This is really a goddamn. But now now it's gigs on, on the banana sunbed. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna end it here. It was fun. I'm sorry it didn't progress a huge amount. I thought time would pass faster. Oh, oh good. good. It's good. That's fine. I, I got to. I got to potentially introduce induce a mass murder. I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, you got to potentially <laughs> induce a mass murderer. Gix has to give up his child. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Hands got to reveal to the world that he's swarm keeper. He's a, he's a bee And Borders are starting to get ideas for modifying the ship with Abby's permission later on. If they work, that's the thing. That's the thing. And you know how Abby is. He does not want you modifying the ship. That's why I'm asking for submission first. Anyway. Ideas first, permission later. Anyway, I gotta go cook food in like half. Gonna head to bed, guys. It was nice chatting. Okay, okay. I will talk to you next week. Good night. All Hopefully, right. I have next week more planned yeah. out with actual things to fight. Love you all. Bye bye. We're gonna be fighting the sun. <laughs> You're gonna be fighting the sun. Anyway, good night. Goodbye. Boop. <laughs>